hello. Good morning. Let me scoot this down a little more. So there's no fucking music at the beginning of this game. Um, this is gonna be a hell of a ride. Love this game and the music smile. Hello. Good morning. <clears throat> there's no music, it just plays a thing. It plays like a video. I had to stop it. So I found some music. Hopefully it's not too super loud or super quiet. I had to stop it so that I didn't watch it without you guys. <laughs> hello, hello, good morning. Uh, Oryx with Forks, thank you very much for resubbing for six months. Enjoy your golden carrot. I hope, um, <laughs> I, I hope nobody fights you. All right, let's just stop that. <clears throat> anyway, I found a piano thing of the music from this game and I just played the first song. Anyway, hi. Yes, the day has come. Hello, hello. Uh, soccer, thank you so much for resubbing for an 11th month. That's fucking awesome. Welcome back. Oh, you really are playing Xeno Gears. Gross. What? <laughs> Razzo, thanks for the bits. What the fuck? Uh, Bren, thank you for the host. I really appreciate that. What's happening? I hold on. I'm trying to read I chat. pronounce so MG as omg. That's totally normal. Have some beats. Oh, omg. She does say omg. That's fucking weird. Thanks, C Holmes, for the 500 beats. I appreciate it. Bees, thank you for the host as well. Malice, thank you for the raid. Hello, perfect timing. We haven't started yet. I literally just turned the stream on. Hello, hello. Good morning to everybody. I didn't know what to name this stream. Um. Hold on. I, I don't want to get, like, muted for playing other stuff, so I found weird piano music. But I turned it off because it got weird. And I don't want to spoil myself on any of the songs either. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Everything's fine. Mm. So, I tried to do a sound test on this. Listen to how fucking cool this is. And then we'll, we'll mess around with sounds and try to get it right. Because I tried to do the sounds myself. But it played, like, a weird anime video and I panicked and I turned it off. Because I didn't want to see it. Also, I totally remembered I have two... Two blocks free. I had to go into my save. I deleted one of our uh, Legend of Mana saves because that stupid game took up two blocks per. But it looks like this one only takes one block per. So, hello. Welcome to Xeno Gears. Before we get into this, I have to do this. Listen. Wide stereo. I'm not going to do it, though, because it sounds like it's in the back of my head, and I fucking hate that. But I thought that was really cool. Anyway, hopefully you guys could hear that at all. Isn't that neat? If you're wearing headphones, it's, like, absolutely bonkers. Oh, God, no, it's doing it. Stop. Ugh. Stop. I'm not ready. I hit re reset. Don't judge me. <laughs> I have to stop it. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Hello. Everything is going to be fine. I don't want to watch the intro. I don't want to watch the intro until I'm ready. Until we can all pay attention. I don't want it to just play in the background. Hello. <laughs> you love the PlayStation startup sound? Good. I'm glad. So. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna click a fucking button. I'm gonna go back to my little safe corner. Oh god. Okay, there we go. My safe little corner of sound settings that I can't interrupt. How was Golden Sun? Great. It didn't end though. Uh, there's a second half. So hello, we're playing Xeno Gears. I'm gonna put up this weird little toot toot song again, um, so we have something to listen to. Uh, this is apparently a song from the game. It's a piano remix that I found for free. I don't know. Because we're going to be doing some weird stuff. Because, ja, ja I have it. Um, oh, Bren, thank you for gifting a sub to Andron's Backlog. Thank you very much. That is very sweet of you. I appreciate it. So, 
Womp. That's that's a cat. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna move it because she's not there. Son of a I'm gonna We're playing this goddamn game. But first, we're gonna look at the the stuff in here. Womp. Hello. <laughs> here it is. This is the game. <gasps> B, thank you very much for the host. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm looking over there. That's on my camera. This is this camera. Hello. Look, here it is. It's the Xenos Gears. What? Red Davison, thank you very much for gifting us up to <laughs> Hamster Tony. Awesome. Thank you very much. Here's the back. Uh, let's see if it'll be nice. It's because of my fingies. There it is. Fucking, there we go. Hive train go. What? Everyone stop. I have very important things to look at. I don't want to read any of your garbage. Thank you very much to all of the 200 bits. So, definitely uh, saw the cover of this and not the back and thought it was about a samurai man. It's not my fault. Rain told me I had to tell you guys when I told him that last night and he said you're all allowed to make fun of me. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know what it's about. Uh, <laughs> Errol Hydra, thank you very much for the five gift subs uh, to Nerdy Jeans 23 Zap Shakur, uh, a fake user, Bojangles, and Fire Fiery Cat. Thank you very much, Errol Hydra. I thought this was about a samurai. Can you blame me? Look at him. He has like um. Rurouni Kenshin hair. <laughs> Dad! Thank you for resubbing, Dad! That's my my papa. Have some row beats. No. Okay. I would like I wanna play okay. Mildane, thank you very much for the row beats. Sir Highbury, thank you for the five beats. <laughs> Choo choo. Just gonna hold this here. Don't you wanna play it? Luciano, thank you very much for the 300 choo choo bits. <clears throat> Good lord. Stop. <laughs> Scoops Winky, thank you very much for gifting five subs as well. <sighs> to Last Metroid in Captivity. Oh. Uh, Neko Wolf, Nerd in the Bay. You no go and I O Fang. Thank you very much, Scoops. I appreciate that. You guys stop. <laughs> Broken Quest, thank you for the hundred bits. He's got samurai elbow. Does he? He does! Look at it! Carbo look at hype that. robot time. <laughs> thank you, Broken Quest. He looks like a samurai. It's not my fault. But I guess there is like a mech in the background, which I'm noticing now. Oops. Oops. Papa, thank you very much for the 300 beads. But yeah, if you look at the back, there's a mech like right there. I've never looked at the back before. I guess his face is also there. Pretty cool. I don't really know anything about this game, as you can you can see. Oh my god. Diddler, thank you very much for Thank you for gifting five subs to non-fiction sound true mang <laughs> the supreme toast atreus uh 183 and heckler in the stands thank you very much deadler i appreciate that xeno gears hype we're going we're going back over here thank you fractal i appreciate it thank you for the hundred beats robots he has the hair. He does. James, thank you very much for the robot bits. <laughs> Shirayoni, thank you very much for the, the lucky 300 beats. I really appreciate it. Look, we did it. The hype trains, it's too big. You're done. <laughs> Old and flexible, thank you for also gifting five subs to Zungle Sky Dragon 9999. Fuck. Uh, Pekenorato one. I'm so sorry. Uh, Fury Bloodhound and Miss RP Girl. Thank you very much. 
Welcome back, everybody who saw the notification this morning is like, mmm, Xenogears, you say? Hello. Triple Zero, thank you for gifting a sub to, uh, Sredst. Don't read this. I am excited. Thank you, Claytonio. That's too many. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for the thousand beats. Streamer is not allowed to talk or play the game until we are done doting upon her, which will be a while. Thanks, Bren. It's think... over level five. <laughs> Thank you, Luciano. Thank you for the 200 points. Have fun with the samurai man. <laughs> Cater Miller, thank you very much for resubbing for the 13th month. I hope I do. Mecha Samurai Evangelion confirmed. I have to tell you guys a secret. Thanks, Shia. <laughs> that reminds me of the secret I have to tell you. What was that? I missed one. Fuck. When does Octavia get a mech? Anonymous, thank you for gifting a sub, sub to Shunchu. Thank you. And Rebel. <laughs> Octavia doesn't get a mech. She'd kill us all. But thank you. Rezo. Mm -hmm. Rezo, thank you very much for gifting a sub to someone. Green Yak. Thank you very much. Stop. <laughs> DLs, thank you for gifting six subs. Uh, are you trying to one-up everybody? <laughs> thank you for gifting subs to uh, Iggy Kui, uh, Luca Doga, JDR Third, Golden Duke Level Zero. Nope. I know how to say your fucking name. Level or Oregon? The Goth? Fuck. And Seven Pains, thank you very much. Another ghost has gifted something. Thank you, ghost, for gifting us up to Yodi82. That is very sweet. Oh, look! Now you've run out. Please enjoy your hype train emotes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy shit. Thank you for everything. This is very large and terrifying. I have never played this game. I do not know what it is about. <laughs> thank you, Lafo. Hey, me either. <laughs> Are we... Thank you. Well, now I'm even more terrified. Okay, so let's just... Also, I apologize for the music. I have no control over this. I hope you can hear it. Um... Hi, back to this view. Oops. Here he is. Not a samurai. Are you saying you have some xenophears? <laughs> no! That makes it sound bad, like I'm afraid of... Yes, I have some xenophears. <clears throat> Thank you very much for resubbing, Chad. Welcome back. I'm gonna read the back now. Is that okay? <laughs> so, well, first things first. What do I know about this game? Well, it wasn't until last night when I was setting it up that I connected Xenogears is alien robots. Ha ha! Oops! Or space robots. I don't know, man. Um, I know zero about this game. All I know is that the composer is one that I really started to like when we played other games, and um, that deeply hurts me. Because <laughs> I have emotional problems with it now. James! You guys are supposed to stop. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for gifting five subs. I... To the Fisher? <laughs> Sir Leroy's uh, Blue Whale Pajamas. <laughs> Uh, re cool and she die three zero eight. Thank you, James. No, I refuse. Yeah, it's Mitsuda, so I'm gonna get really emotionally wrecked. I think I'm kind of scared. Let's pour ourselves a few Zeno beers. Zeno cheers, clinking beer mugs. <laughs> Thanks, friend. Thank you for the beats. What the? F Anyway, Mitsuda did Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross, which is why the, I'm gonna die. It's not my fault, though. It's emotional sabotage. It's not my fault. Shirayuni, thank you fucking very much for gifting five subs to Chronopolis. How fitting. Kid Cool 121 Gazelle Ravenaut and V Man. Thank you. I'm gonna read the back now. 
I'm a, no, hold on. It says stand tall and shake the heavens in red. <clears throat> A mysterious organization is turning the tides of a century-long war with ancient technology. Giant combat robots! Oh no! Um, mini Mac 187. <laughs> Thank you for following. Welcome. A failed attempt to steal one of these powerful mechanized weapons places it in the unwilling hands of young Fay and his dubious a allies. A mysterious organization. No! <laughs> Thanks, Lafo. Now he is pursued by military governments, royal pirates, <laughs> spies, the emperor, and his own forgotten past. This music is killing me. Here, play that one instead. I need you to know that it also says this. Over 20 minutes of stunning hand-drawn anime with a little dash, tells this complex, futuristic tale. Battle giant robots or hand-to-hand -hand using intuitive combat systems without menus. <laughs> Food and red chicken, thank you for the host. Explore detailed, fully rotatable, polygonal environments. I'm fucked. I have never played any, look at, look at anime. I have never played a single game like this. I'm in trouble. Recall, thank you for following. I'm in big trouble. Here you go. I'm sorry about the reflection. My win my windows are bright. Here's some people. That's our main guy, I guess. Arcala has girl. never played a JRPG before. Thanks, Fractal. Anyway. I don't know if the booklet is spoilers or not. Also, there's two discs. Fuck. Here's the second disc if you want to know what the discs look like. Ooh. There's some other people behind this disc hiding. Ugh. Stupid reflection. Here, the here they are. This music's pretty good. Even if it is a piano cover to keep me from getting in trouble. Oh my god, hold on. I just noticed that in the booklet, I think there's an ad for Parasite Eve on the back. Here's the booklet. Beautiful. <laughs> Parasite Eve, we've played that. Brave Fencer Musashi, we've played that. We've not played Bushido Blade, though. Certainly not, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should look in it. I'm like missing everything you guys are saying. I'm so sorry. Uh, James, be good. Thank you for gifting a sub to someone named Xenogears underscore. That's terrifying. But yeah, here's the booklet. I'm probably going to need it, but we'll see how much the game actually teaches us. If I do need it, I will use it. Um, so that's staying on my desk. So. Now the game itself is subbed. Thank you. So, now that you're all in here, and we've looked at it a little bit, and you know that I don't fucking know anything about what I'm about to do, I have a confession to make. Uh, could you say- <laughs> God damn it. Thank you very much for gifting us up to Xenogears02. Hmm. There is no Xenogears2 that's alive? What the fuck? Okay, anyway. Uh, I've never watched... <laughs> Hooray. Is this where we find the fabled Chrono Cross Disc 3? Damn it. Thanks. Thanks, Austin. Thanks for the bits. Yeah, it's here. It was here the whole time. I've, um, never seen Evangelion. So if you're going to make references to it, I, I won't get Way, 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 way back when it first came out, some asshole kid told me some twist, and I was like, well, never gonna watch it now. But it has since been uh, how many decades since it came out? And I have forgotten what it was, so I guess I could watch it now. Oops. Anyway, so if there's any kind of parallels, I won't get them. Um, 
Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, also, as far as um, like Gundam, I saw one episode once and there was a lumberjack Canadian um, Gundam man. So uh, that is also out. As far as any type of mech I've ever watched, once I had a friend who liked one, but it was basically just Yuri, so um, he made me watch it and it wasn't very good. And that was 2005. So. Me no no, I have no fucking clue. I don't know anything about the genre at all. I totally thought this was an RPG. Maybe it is. I thought it was an RPG with a samurai. So, oops, that's my fault. Anyway, shall we, um, shall we watch the intro? <laughs> oh wait, one more thing. Hi, if you're new, the camera's over here now. Hi, if you're new, um, please don't offer to help me. <laughs> uh, everything I play on this channel is with original hardware. So yes, I have a PlayStation on my desk. Obviously I showed you guys the discs. Um, but the big thing is if the game didn't come with something that helps me, I don't want to be helped by anybody else. I'm not gonna look anything up. I'm not gonna like, ask you guys for help please please do not offer help um don't explain game mechanics to me don't tell me where to look don't do a cheeky thing where you're like hmm what a shame that you can't blibbity blobbity and try to like steer me there that sucks don't do that you guys can like meme and talk and do whatever you want however if you would like to talk about spoilers with other people or discuss how i'm missing something really obvious or how you're really excited for blah or ask hey has she found Beep bop robot yet? Uh, we have a Discord if you'd like to join. It's exclamation mark Discord. You do not have to be a sub. You can just join, um, do a reaction so that it gives you a role. And then there's a channel in there called Spoil City. I have it muted. You can talk about whatever the fuck you want about the game. I won't see it and it'll keep everybody happy. It's great. You can also complain about how I don't do what you want. Um, <laughs> Edible Dragon, thank you for following. Welcome. All right, I think that's everything. Um, Le Grand Grand, thank you for following as well. Welcome. Yeah, so basically, yes, I'm playing this on original hardware. No, you can't help me play the game. Um, no, I have no idea what's going on. This is my first time and I'm doing it with no help. So shall we? Uh... Oh, one last thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. One last thing. I have no idea how the sound levels are because I didn't want to spoiler myself on the intro cutscenes. I tried to put it in a place that kind of made sense. Um, so I'm going to reset the system and we are just going to see what happens. Where's the button? I will watch whatever plays if you don't do anything and then we'll watch whatever plays if, if you do something. I'm pretty sure it's some anime bullshit considering the... Don't worry, the I'll back. help you to your doom. Mwahaha ha 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 ha. Thanks, Rezo. <laughs> Thank you. We shall see. Also, I'll try to read chat as much as I can. Um, that's just my capture card refreshing. Um, I'll try to read chat as much as I can, but sometimes when games get like super bonkers, it's hard to do so. Also, yes, I'm taking notes, and if you would like to see the notes, um, I post them in the sub part of Discord when we're done with games. That's it. Does the anime intro play i believe the anime intro i have no idea i'm just gonna let it start i'm sorry to spoil you but cm punk joined all elite wrestling wait i saw that i fucking saw that um so i believe it just starts we're gonna use this as a way to test the sound um so if if you need me to turn the game up or down please let me know i believe it'll just kind of like go so if I leave it like this, it was like starting. Um, and thank you, James. I did see that. There it is. Okay. I don't know if this also plays, but we're gonna we're gonna watch it. Fuck, I'm nervous. Uh oh also I saw a cat cam. I'll I don't know where she went. I'll do it when she's in here. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. This is not the prettiest disc I have, so I hope it isn't too skippy. Um, Brother Man, thank you for following. Welcome. This is like beyond outside of my comfort zone type of game to play. I'm really nervous. 
It's not as bad as when we played Final Fantasy VII, but I'm still pretty scared. I'm gonna shut up now so I can listen to this. Also, keep in mind, let me know how the sounds are. If I need to turn it up or down. Also, there are no subtitle options, so I'm, I'm super sorry about that. Oh no, it's happening! Don't skip too much, please. This is an emergency. Level 1 alert. Omega 1 restarting. Alpha 1 genome. Yeah. Confirming Exxon replacement. Base code 85 million. 100 million. Its speed is overwhelming. Alpha 1 to raise your central. Access confirmed. Initializing fake net. Disconnected. Activating emergency shelter. Nine. Contamination is spreading. Ninety-eight. Rising. Jesus. Captain. Cut off the cables manually. Roger. Activating self-destruct bolts. Confirming. No good. Nothing happened. Omega One. They are attacking. We can't stop them. Ninety-eight percent of our weapons have been taken over. The autopilot system Faust has been accessed, and its base space logic is being rewritten. Ergo area is increasing. An internal plane is forming. Switching to space displacement mode. Alpha 1, confirming transfer of coordinate codes. Coordinates input, coordinate NX128, EZ061, the main planet. Damn, so they're planning on attacking. Engine room. The voice actress is so good. The emergency ceiling system. Engine room, engine. And this guy is so not as good. Uh oh. Civilians and passengers are safely transported to the escape shuttles. I will send a dispatch after evacuation is complete. I am evacuating the ship. All of you, evacuate now. Evacuate. Evacuate. Evacuate the ship immediately. All passengers will please board the shuttles in calm and orderly fashion. Is that what that said? A person? <laughs> it's not a space story if there isn't a naked lady, huh? Looking at you, Outlaw Star, and Firefly, and etc. I'm surprised she's not in a box. <laughs> okay. How are the sounds? Could you hear everybody's uh, voices? Oh my god. All right. Sounds were good? Hell yeah. <laughs> I do. <sighs> All right. Well, this is fucking exciting. A bit low. You could hear it clear. Could you hear the voice as well? <clears throat> it's doing it again. Stop it. Could be a bit higher. Okay. 
The voices were fine, though. All right, hold on. Let me, um, I got to get to sound because it, like, skips ahead of me. I will turn it up a teeny tiny bit. Hopefully this will be okay. If it is too loud, just let me know. I can always uh, mess with it. Turn it up, like, 5%. Um, I have no idea how loud the, like, I, I don't know what the gameplay is going to be like at all, so. Um, holy ravioli. All right, turn the sound up a little bit. Again, just uh, keep me posted because I didn't want to, I didn't want to watch that and not like have everybody here to see um, and hang out. Also, somebody redeemed Octavia Kim. She's, she's here now. She's lounging. Enjoy. Okay. I don't know how many notes I'm going to have to take for this game, but um, I guess I can't stall anymore. Let's play. Uh, X is confirm, circle is back. If we have to watch it again, that's fine, because then I can pay better attention. I haven't played a single Xeno anything. I know nothing about any of this. Oh, it does do it again. All right, good. I'm watching it again. You can't stop me. And and then this will be with the, the higher sound. Time for Xerox scares. Thank you, Lavo. But yeah, if, if you're just tuning in, I have not played any Xeno anythings. I've never played a mech game. I've never seen Evangelion. I'm very out of my comfort zone. Do I love space? Yes. Do I enjoy space stories? Very yes. Uh, do I like ships with grappling arms? Also yes. All right, keep keep in mind, I turned it up 5%. If I have to turn it up more, let me know. The skipping and slow transitions even happen on brand new discs, so it may not be due to a scratch. Okay, good, because I was worried it had a little bit of like a a roughness to it when I looked at it um, last night. <clears throat> Do we like naked space women? I mean, they tend to be in media I enjoy, unfortunately, so maybe yes. Anyway, I'm not apologizing for watching this again. Oh, but yeah, I was saying this lady has like amazing voice acting and then the dude talks and he's so bad compared. Base code 85 million. Now what the fuck is that? Its speed is overwhelming. Alpha 1 to raise your central. Access confirmed. Initializing fake net. Disconnected. Activating emergency shelter. Deny. Contamination is spreading widely. Captain. Cut off the cables manually. Roger. Activate okay. self destruct bolts. Cables. Got it. Confirming. No good. Nothing happened. Omega 1, they are attacking. We can't stop them. 98% of our weapons have been taken over. The autopilot system Faust has been accessed. And its phase space logic is being rewritten. Ergo area is increasing. An internal plane is forming. Switching to space displacement mode. Alpha 1, confirming transfer of coordinate codes. Coordinate input, coordinate NX128, EZ061. The main planet. Damn. So they're planning on attacking. Engine room. Activate the emergency sealing system. Engine okay, Engine. so that's not just like loose wires and cables. Because that was the shit that's... I'm glad we're watching this again. Okay, I can finally read this. You sh Damn it. See that all civilians and passengers are safely transported to the escape shuttles. Also, I will send a dispatch after evacuation. That is music is so ghost in the shell, which I'm is evacuating like evacuating the ship. All of yes. evacuate now. Evacuate. Evacuate. Evacuate the ship immediately. All passengers are in the shuttles in calm and orderly fashion. You shall be as gods. Uh... Dorame? Thank you very much for following, welcome! You shall be his dogs. I hope not. <sighs> I 
Can you see the gift saves to the cat? Thank you. Space enemy. Thank you, Professor Ness. I appreciate it. Welcome back for 13th month. I didn't write down any notes. I think I'm going to write down they shall be as gods, though. That seems important. Or, no, you shall be as gods. When this came out, it was like peak fucking anime time for me. Late 90s, early 2000s was like the shit. And there was so much stuff in space. Oh boy. Hello, controller, with your very long cable. I'm nervous again. God, it sounds so much like Corona Cross. The continent of Ignis, in the northern hemisphere of our world. On this, the largest continent, a war has been raging between two countries for hundreds of years. In the north of the continent lies the Kislev Empire. In the south lies the desert kingdom of Avve. The war has gone on for so long that the people have forgotten the cause, knowing only the pointless circle of hostility and tragedy. Do I click? Hope I don't skip anything. Yes. The chronic war obsession was soon to encounter a devastating change. Also, let me know if this is too, um, too loud now. This was due to the ethos an institution that preserves our world's culture, repairing tools and weapons excavated from the ruins of an ancient civilization. And once both countries excavated these ruins and had the ethos repair and the discoveries in order to increase their military power. Okay. That seems bad. She's giving you the leg. The various weapons excavated from the ruins greatly changed the form of warfare. The outcome of the battles between the two countries was no longer determined by man-to-man -man combat, but by gears. Giant humanoid fighting machines. Okay, so that's what gears are. Gears are the robots. Gears are mechs. That were obtained from deep within the ruins. Wait, 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 wait. So. They don't know the origins of their wars. There are two countries that have been fighting forever. And they're using alien tech to do it? That seems like a really terrible fucking idea. Okay. Eventually, after continuous swings in the state of the war, Kislev gained the upper hand. The major factor behind this lay in the enormous difference in the amount of resources buried within their ruins. But suddenly a mysterious military force appeared in the continent of Ignis, called Gebler. This force decided to make contact with Ava. Okay, so the two combating sides were Kisla versus Ave. Oh, thank you, Zephyr X. Uh, if I miss anybody's shit, by the way, if you guys put stuff in and I miss it, just let me know. Okay, so... And then Gebler... Joined... I don't know how much of this I need to write down, but it seems important. With the assistance of the Gebler military force, Ava was able to recover from being hopelessly outnumbered to being back on an even standing with Kislev. Then, taking further advantage of this newly gained momentum, Ava started to capture one territory after another from Kislev, showing no indication of slowing down in their invasion campaign. The remote 
village of Lahan in the outskirts of Ava near the border of Kislev. Didn't write down the name. This is where it all begins. If you listen closely, you'll hear my PlayStation reading the disc. Oh, they look like... Sweet friends. Oh, I think this is me! <sighs> Damn you! I wonder what voice you have, sir. Are you gonna make me do something? Oh god, I have no idea how to... I don't know how to fight! Okay, my name is Faye. <laughs> Hiya! He is a samurai man. Wait, you punch with Nyx? <sighs> That's one down? are you? No matter how often I knock you down, you still get up. Who the fuck are you? Faye, stop! You must not fight here! What? You're just a tiny man. Get out of the way. Ugh. Boy, are you persistent. Damn it! Why did it have to come to this? Hmm? Eh? They gave me so much context and I have no idea what's going on. Huh? What? Wait, was that real? What kind of transition was that? Record scratch, yep, that's me. God damn it, you got me. Ugh. Son of a bitch. We got, we got Tarantino, I think we did. Okay. Fuck. All right. Ugh, that about does it. All right, now for a short break. What? Wait, is this world 3D like Grandia? How do I move? Oh, I can't move from my- hold on, I have to turn my analogs on. Can I use analog? No! Fuck, I should've used my other controller. Can I turn the world? I can! It is like Grandia! Can I look at these? It's a tree. <laughs> and it even has the, um, the directions. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, do I have a minute? Oh, I can jump? Menu is... What? Jump is... Jump is triangle. Menu is square? I can't believe I can jump. Fully rotatable, clearly. Oops. Hold on. Status. Attack with percent, defense of 8%, ether? What the hell is that? Uh, ether, defense, and agility. Alright, I might have to check the manual for what the hell that is. Skills, death blows, abilities, guided shot, balls of chi attack. Okay. I have equipment, I have a weapon, and then three accessories. So it seems like a chess piece, a hat, and a ring. Okay. Can I? Okay, so it does preview. Okay, not bad. There's no. Okay, so I can get through there and through there. Items, I have no items. 
Okay, abilities are already saw. Gear. Gear. Oh, oh, this. I think this is the robot, but I don't have one. Best menu sounds? Oh. File? Checking memory. Oh, can I save? Wait, I can go into here? What the hell? Why can I access my memory card? You can see all the games we played. I should have room to save. This only takes one block and I have two blocks. I'm not deleting any of the other games in there. Mookie Rook is spotted. Shh. Some of Little Painter? These are very pretty. In world news today, hope none of you have Bitcoin. Uh-oh. I know some of you do. Why were we paint? I don't know if we actually experienced that, or... Who are you? Are you my mom? Oh, you're a maid. <laughs> Sorry! Can you imagine going up to, like, someone in a hotel and being like, are you my mom? Hello, Faye. You're looking well today. My, how time flies. Why, it's already been three years since you came to our village. When they first... When they first saw you brought in all bloody and soaking... Soaking? To tell you the truth, they didn't think you were going to make it. And that strange masked man who carried you here that day. Do you think that maybe he was your real father? Don't you remember anything? Why... <laughs> okay, fuck you. Why, they say you had a terrible nightmares and constantly called out for your father. What? What's happening? I'm having a memory? I am having a memory. Who is it? Oh, it's an old man. Who are you? What? You want me to look after this boy? I think I was daydreaming when I was doing the, that thing. Yeah. Oh, nerd! Thank you so much for the host! I hope you're doing well. But now you're so healthy and strong, and it's all thanks to our village chief, Lee. My, you should be grateful. Okay, lady, get out of my way. I'm looking in your cupboards. She's on me! I can't get off! Okay. What? Oh, I went into my menu. Sorry. I'll get used to this, I promise. It's circle to run. And triangle to jump. Get, 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 get out of my way. Get, stop, please! God damn it, it's a click on random stuff game. Alright. What was that? I got an item. Aqua Soul. Takes a little bit to get into my menu. Resource. Okay, so this is a potion. Aqua Soul is a potion. One ally. I don't know what that means. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Doesn't seem like it's going to be important later. Don't beat another old chief. I might have to. It's not my fault. You know, Faye, I'm sure that our village chief thinks of you as his own grandson. Not having any family for all those years and living on his own for oh so long. That's why he cares so very deeply about you. Please never do anything that would break his poor old heart. You promise me that, Faye? Oh my god, I'm gonna... The foreshadowing is horrendous. <laughs> it's like palpably bad. I wonder how many things I need to touch. Can I touch the fire? Damn it. F minus. Oh, he's right here. Hello. Who are you? Timothy. <laughs> I don't hate old men. It just, the games usually make me beat them up at the beginning of them. Yo, hi there, Faye. Sorry for all of us using your house like this. But we have to talk about the big day tomorrow with the village chief. Yeah. Oh, I'm not a silent protagonist. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow, huh? You're wedding with Alice. Now that's a big day. Yeah, right. 
but it still hasn't hit me. It's reality, though. Uh-oh. Hey, uh, Timothy, I just wanted to thank both you and Alex. I mean, Alice. <laughs> Three years ago, I woke up in this village without a trace of my memory. I didn't know who I was, where I'd been, or what I'd been doing up until that day. I couldn't recall a single thing. Despite that, you and Alice sympathized with me and encouraged me to go on. If the two of you hadn't been there for me, I don't know what would have become of me. Timothy, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Now you and Alice had better live happily ever after. Ha! Quit it, will ya? I don't have to go and get you don't have to go and get all mushy on me. Anyway, to me it feels like I've always been friends with you ever since we were kids. And we will go on being friends forever, right? This town's gonna get destroyed. Of course. Oh yeah, Faye. Could you stop by and check on Alice? I still have stuff to discuss with my old man in the village chief, but I'm sure she'll be glad to have some company. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Anyway, I'll see you later. Oh, and I really am looking forward to the ceremony tomorrow. Dude, every fucking time a game starts like this, the entire town burns to the ground. Don't do this to me, game. Alice's uncle. I don't know whether to be happy or sad. Tomorrow our little Alice is going to become someone's wife. Gross. Uh, Die Hard Gamer, thank you as well for the host. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Is it? I knew this day would come. This is the worst part of bringing up a little girl. <sighs> Who are you? Talk to me. Timothy's father. Hello there, Faye. Our Timothy is a really lucky boy to be able to marry such a beautiful girl like Alex. I keep wanting to say Alex. I hope you come up with some embarrassing tales to tell in your speech. Ha ha ha! Hello, old man. Oh, it's you, Faye. We're in the middle of discussing Timothy and Alice's wedding arrangements. Hey, well, why don't you bring a girlfriend or two home once in a while? Fuck you! Just because you live with an old man like me doesn't mean you have to hold back now, you hear? Why, when I was as young as you are, it seemed like every day I would... <clears throat> um... Oh, eh, uh, uh, never mind. Now, we still have important things to discuss, so don't get in the way now. Okay, horn dog. Whatever you say. I think my grandpa's a pervert. I guess that's healthy. Oh, wait. Oh. oh. What? What the fuck is your hair? There you are, Faye. I have to talk to you about something. Uh, why, hello there, Dan. Why is his name Dan? Right, boomers! Fucking boomers. Uh, you're lively today as you are every day. Dan, don't be so rude. What's this barging in here and all? Ugh, Timothy's here too. But out, Timothy. Until you marry my sister, you have nothing to do with me at all. I just have some business here with my friend, Faye. Okay, you little shit. So anyway, Faye, I... I have something to talk to you about later. What is it, Dan? It sounds serious. Yeah, that's why I can't talk about it here. There's a certain person listening in who could cause us trouble. It's really important. We gotta talk, seriously. One-on-one, man-to-man. I'll be hanging around outside, so I'll see you later, okay? Be seeing you, Timothy. Take care of yourself until tomorrow. <laughs> uh, huh? What's up with him? As of tomorrow, I'm going to be that kid's brother-in-law. <laughs> that part isn't going to be no honeymoon. Yeah, he basically smell you later as us. He looks like a 40 year old child. <laughs> he looks like um, what a jerk would draw like a stereotypical leprechaun as. Well, that was weird. I keep trying to use the analog sticks. Can I look at this painting? Can I look at this plant? No. Can I save? There are probably save points around the world then. Do, do. I like this song already. I'm upset about it. There's a kid on the roof! Alright. There's gotta be a way to save. 
I can only copy or delete. Fuck. Well, I'm sure it's somewhere. Why can't I move? Oh my god. The loading times are quite long. <gasps> Dog! Ah! A plus game. I get to talk to the animals. Hello. This is the village consultant's house. He can teach you all kinds of things. Before you step outside of our village, it might be wise to stop by here for some advice first. Okay. Tutorial lady. Oh, jumping. Hey kid, why are you on my roof? Birds are great. They can fly so high in the sky and go wherever they want to. You know, Faye, Mom was saying that you might have to you might have come from a faraway place. If you were a bird, you could fly back to your real home anytime you wanted. This game's gonna hurt me. This game is gonna hurt me. Nothing like a receding hairline to make a character look check studs. Ten years old. Oh, fuck me. This game's gonna really fuck me up. Ooh, hello. Can't touch cow. Oh, can't touch cow. Hello. Oh, I'm just contemplating what I should plant next. I gotta press two buttons to run and jump. I kind of hate that, but... It's only because I have little thumbs. This is the general store, although they don't have much of a selection. But then again, we're out in the country, so we can't complain too much. Lately, my legs have gotten weaker. It's causing me a great deal of trouble. I would like to go and have Dr. Uzuki take a look and see if they can help me. But it's a tremendous task to go up the mountain path to visit the doctor. I must be getting old. I was trying to talk to this... Oh, whatever. Hey. Hey, hey, Faye. Help me find another elephant sparrow's nest sometime, okay? Elephant sparrow? I don't know what to be writing down. I can't tell if I need to, like, write down these people's names. This is just regular Stardew Valley? Oh, great. Okay, that's the kid that wants to talk to me. Run away! Huh? Oh, bye. That doctor's eccentric. Why else would anyone live up on a mountain peak like that? He should have moved closer to the village. Faye, you're good friends with the doctor. Ask him to move closer to our village for us. No. I don't even know who you are. I wish I had a map. Alice and Timothy's wedding tomorrow is the talk of the town. I guess it's to be expected, though. It's one of life's biggest events. The women of the village are born, raised, married, and live out the rest of their lives here. There must be some happiness in that, but I've been thinking from time to time. Sometimes I wish I were born a man so I could travel the world and live an ever-changing life. <sighs> it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, that is... No! Oh, I get choices! No, of course not! Really? Do you mean it? I knew you'd say that for me, Faye. Here. This is my very own homemade aqua soul. Our bear cows! It's avatar-style animal combos! Our bear cows love it. Try it out sometime. Aqua soul. The choice of all bear cows. I mood at me! Did it fart? I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> Bear cow's a pretty cool combo. Hello. Why, hello, Faye. Are you here to see Alice? Actually, it's customary that we don't let any men in to see the bride today, but you can be an exception. Are you sure? I, I don't know what's going to further the plot. Hold on. We got to talk to the kid first. <gasps> what are you doing? I like your flat vegetables. Oh. <laughs> Let's catch some scampi again. I'm gonna get you! Hey, stop pushing! What are you, some kind of pervert? Oh no! I'm just trying to talk to you! Hello, Faye. <laughs> Shit. I guess she's not mad at me. Tomorrow's Alice and Timothy's big day. Isn't it exciting? I know Alice will make a lovely bride. Uh, I hope a handsome prince comes into my life soon. No, no, don't waste- Oh fuck, I stepped on it. Okay, note to self, don't step on stuff here. He's asleep. Oh, 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 it's you, Faye. What do you want? Finally, at my age, I've become able to live in peace. 
At this rate, I'll probably live to be a hundred! <laughs> hey, Faye. Next time, teach me some more of your kung fu stuff. I'm gonna get you! You're running into a box, kid. Okay. You stepped on the food? Oops. Village consultant's house, right. I should probably go there. Wait, I can move around when people talk to me. That's cool. I'm already lost. Where the fuck do I live? Oops! Oh no! I don't want to leave! I made a mistake. Can I save that? Aha! Oh my god. Why would it do it like this? Of course I don't want to save over any of this. What? Okay, that's in there, right? I need a second save card. Memory card. Okay, there it is. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah. Uh, that was on purpose so I could save. Okay, so we're in Mahan Village. Wait! That was definitely the village that... This town's gonna get destroyed. Game Video games with violence will always get you. Oh, a sign. From all the cool people of Mahan. <laughs> Buongiorno. Okay. It's a village of nerds. What are you doing? Oh, hello there, Faye. Come to think of it, it's already been quite a while since you first came to our village. I take it you still don't remember anything prior to your coming here, though. It must be terrible not knowing your true identity and all. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm being rude. Please don't take it the wrong way. Alright, let's just go inside of everywhere. Miss Goosey. You can hear lyrics? There are lyrics? What the fuck? Yo, you wanna play rock, paper, scissors? It's a 50 gold per challenge? Sure. I don't even know if I have money. Yeah, that's the way, Faye. If you manage to beat me five times in a row, I'll give you a special reward. I need some kind of risk to make things interesting against such an amateur. <laughs> Here we go. I always do scissors. Fuck. You did scissors? Yes, I win! I did it, baby. You can kiss my... What? Uh, Martile Pia? Welcome. Thank you for following. Well, I just lost what little money I had. My husband's love for the rock, paper, scissors, or RPS game is ruining us. Just recently, he even said he had a dream of receiving the hero title from the RPS King. If only someone could utterly defeat him to make him see reality, but he's just so good. What the fuck? Okay, I've got to learn rock, paper, scissors, I guess. <gasps> a kitty! A plus. Well, if it isn't Faye... Isn't it exciting to know that Timothy's wedding is going to be tomorrow? I think it's time you found a wonderful girl like Alice yourself. Ha ha! Oh. By the way, Faye, what do you think of Lahan? Uh, I like it. Lahan, I like it. The village leader, Chief Lee, has taken such good care of me. Okay, Chief Lee, we gotta write his name down. Octavia's asleep. She just did a roll. Everyone in the village has warmly accepted me. Regardless of where I may have been born and raised, Lahan is now my home. Ah, uh, yes, it makes me happy just to hear that. Here, take this as an allowance. Don't squander it all at once. Wow, thank you! So being nice to people pays off in this game. Got it. I really want to beat that little shit in this dumb rock, paper, scissors.
time to grind? No, no, no. M maybe, but no. Can I talk to you? Welcome to the village of La- Oh, is that- It's you, Faye. Oh, don't worry. We already consider you a proud member of the Lahan community. So, how about finding a wife and settling down in our village, too? I'm sure if you live a peaceful life here, your memory is- Will be bound to come back one day. You have a natural ability to paint. And you do martial arts rather well, I hear. I bet it's because your body remembers those things. You'll be able to breathe a sigh of relief when your memory returns to you. And don't you worry, I'm sure it will. I don't know if that's true, ma'am. Okay, so we went down here. And let's go to the consultant. I believe that's his house. It's a dating sim where you have to find a wife. God, I hope not. Luca? I can't play this game now. Oh good, good. You're lucky you came just at the right time. If it's about the memory cue, then don't hesitate to ask me. No one knows better than I do. I I Sorry. I was watching Leedipus play Chrono Cross last night and you just go to a certain part and I just... <sighs> I would love to hear you out, Luca. <laughs> Alright, good show. That's the spirit. You're pretty smart for an artist. Open up those ears and carve every word I say into that tiny brain of yours. I'll begin by explaining how to save your adventure. Normally, you can open up the menu screen by pressing the square button. From there, you can select the file option and simply follow the directions to save. However, when you're in a town or a dungeon, you can only save at a designated memory cube area. Without a cube, you cannot save. Oh god! <laughs> What do you think? You understand everything perfectly then? Okay, well, I gotta... Whoop, you didn't understand. Ah, gee. Well, all right. Let me explain it once more. All right, this time, make sure you listen then. This spinning and bobbing thing here is the memory cube I just spoke about. Fearlessly stand inside of the cube's area and calmly and composedly open up the menu screen. From there, you'll be able to save into a memory file as per normal. Especially in dungeons and other like areas. As soon as you see one of these, you should save without hesitation. You never can tell what may happen next. When outside on the world map, you can save anywhere you like. Probably. If you don't want to wind up crying later, make sure you save frequently, okay? So that's it for my concise summary. You took it all in this time, didn't you? Well, even a two-year-old Dungarian monkey could understand my fantastic explanation 120%, right? Fuck! <laughs> I'm such a genius. I can't play this game, man. She's my favorite character ever. Alright, now for the explanation. Fees! 28 gold! I love you, you little shit! 28 gold is a bargain considering you were able to receive such a perfect explanation from the likes of me. So come on, drop the excuses, be a man and pay up. I had 28 gold taken from me. Yes, thank you so much. No receipts given though. Fuck you, game. She looks so much more grown up. Don't tell me it's about me. I just want to talk to you. What? You won't hear what I have to say? Don't you want to know? The logical, comprehensible, and downright beautiful lecture given by me, the one and only great Luca, can only do you good. No matter how many times you listen to it. Oh, what a waste. Well, don't go crying to me when you run into trouble.
Thanks for thanks for not spoiling that guys. I'm gonna have to be careful every single time I save. It's pretty hard. I just wanna look at her. She even did the glasses thing. Uh, Pepper and Goblins, thank you for following. Welcome. I'm gonna have to like... <laughs> it's like how I'm trying not to play Final Fantasy XII so I don't run out of Ivalice games. I, I Apparently there's like other games of Luke and them. It's ruining my mind. <sighs> oh, okay. Hey. Did you know that you can spin the world around with L and R buttons? I'm sure you'll see things you weren't able to before. Explore the world by using your own eyes and ears. That is how you make the gains in your life truly your own. If you're lost, then be lost. There's no need to rush, is there? Nor do you have to explore the world using someone else else's what? Man's? What did you just fucking say? Oh, shit. People say more than one thing. Okay, that's important. I come here often to talk to the village consultant. He usually gives good advice. Although once in a while he can be a little absent-minded. Just recently he mixed up the love potion with the balding potion. <clears throat> so as not to bother other clients, please keep all personal conversations down to a minimum. <laughs> yes, sir. Whatever you say. We'll have to continue this conversation later. say a third thing? It repeats. Okay. What was the last thing you said? If you're lost, then be lost. There's no need to rush, is there? Nor do you have to explore the world using someone else's maps. Maps. That feel when you're crying during the tor tutorial. It's not my fault. It's Luca. She's literally my favorite it's like her ag and agrius <laughs> you know i can't can't help it hey oh broken quest thank you so much for gifting us up to kasumi blue that is very sweet thank you oh and hey tylo Ugh, okay okay i'm fine when it comes to fighting techniques i tend to be extremely fussy i've started to study up on them recently how about it then want to hear what i have to say Oh, I do need to learn this. What? Hello. On my anniversary, you shouldn't have. Thank you for resubbing, Tylo. Welcome back on a, for a 14th month. Here's your gift. It's Eno Gears. <laughs> <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Explain abilities. I know nothing about the combat in this. Hmm. You're pretty scholarly for a youngin. Good. Now listen up. That guided shot ability you already have is one of the many mysterious powers related to ether and chi. Not everyone has the talent to use such powers. People are each born with differing innate abilities. I'm trying so hard not to think about how she's right there. <clears throat> if that individual does have the gift, increasing the level will give birth to more powerful abilities. Cool. Uh... IX Ninja X, thank you for following. Welcome. Hmm, I see a lot of potential in you. Here you go. <gasps> this is an allowance for being such an enthusiastic scholar. Ha ha ha! 80 gold. I wonder if it's gill or gold. Buy some pencils and books with that, okay? Stick with it, kid. Alright, you didn't really teach me that. Okay, help me out. Uh, death blow skills. Good, good. Ask away, youngin. As you already know, there are three strength... I didn't know that. Three strength levels for the ordinary attack options. What? Weak. Triangle. Strong X and fierce. Wait, no. Square and fierce X. So, okay. 
death blow skills are special chains of attacks that first use some weak or strong blows to knock your foe off balance and then end with a fierce blow to do some major damage. But first, you must master the use of weak, strong, or fierce attacks in order to become able to learn such death blow skills. To master these attacks, you should keep trying to do, say, four... I'm writing this down. Don't judge me. He told me to get pencils and stuff. Four weak blows in a row, or two strong blows, or even a fierce blow accompanied by another type. Okay, so four weak. Two strong. Or... In other words, the way to learn new death blow skills is through the frequent use of various combinations of the three basic attacks. So what you think? Doesn't it just make you want to go out there now and start learning those death blow skills as soon as possible? I mean, technically. Um, just so you guys know, hello, there are a lot of you here. Welcome. It's lovely to see you. Please, 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 don't discuss the mechanics <laughs> or spoilery things or like, um, uh, things that maybe I don't know, uh, please, if you would like to discuss that with everybody, um, we have a channel in the Discord, um, I believe there's a link now in there, um, called Spoil City, feel free to do that there, but just to make sure that I'm not, um, seeing extra stuff, please, please, uh, don't do it here, thank you. <sighs> Alright, we have more stuff to learn. Did Pi tweet out what I think they did? Oh! Wait. There was something yesterday. Possibly. Now I have to check. Sorry. One second. I think I think they did. Yeah, they did. <clears throat> Skill levels. All right, here we go. More about death blows and their relation to experience levels. Huh? If you want to see how close you are to learning certain death blow skills, go to the menu screen and then select status. From the status screen, you can select skills to view a list of your death blows, with meters showing you- Ooh! Oh, it's like Legend of Dragoon. If one of the death blows just doesn't seem to be increasing, then you're probably using the wrong types of attack buttons. Cool! In that case, no, it's like that, but different. It might be best to try those attacks you normally haven't been using, so experiment to- with different attack patterns. All right, I like this a lot. But remember this, some death blow skills can't be obtained until you've reached a certain level of experience. If you've not attained that experience level, it won't matter even if the death blow's meter is reached 100%. In this case, you'll have to wait until your level of experience increases before you'll be able to learn to use that death blow. Got it. That's about it. If you keep up in your studies, you're bound to go far. Cool, neat, neat, neat. Have you played any games in the series? None. Zero. <laughs> Good day. I'm the village consultant. But to tell you the truth, the village chief knows far more than I do. However, the chief is an awfully busy person, so I've been placed in charge of answering some of the more mundane questions. As a special for this week, we're lecturing on the techniques of martial... Martial arts. Self-defense. Hmm. Wouldn't you like to learn about it? Whoa. Marshall's arts. All right, then allow me to explain the overall battle commands. I have to do this, by the way, because I have no idea what I'm doing. During battle, there are two groups of commands you can choose from. You can toggle between groups with the left and right directional buttons. Okay. The first group indicates... No, includes the most frequently used attack, defense, and chi options. The second group contains special commands such as combo, escaping, so forth. I thought he said go for it. You fight by skillfully selecting from the two groups of options the action that best suits your circumstances. Normal. We need the Darvon emote in here. Normally, you should be able to just get by with the first group of options. The item option is in both sets. What? So you don't have to switch groups to use items. It's a weird choice. That wraps it up. Please come back whenever you need my services. Huh. A 
Oh, I see. You wish to inquire about defense. Allow me to begin. By choosing defense, you can have the damage your opponent does to you. Oh, it's automatically have. Fighting is not just about being on the offensive. At times, it pays to hold back. When you find yourself in a pinch, it may be a good idea to leave the attacking up to your other party members and simply choose to defend yourself from enemy attacks. That's it? Okay. Action points? Sounds more complicated than it is, right? It sounds more complicated than it is. Aha, I knew you were going to ask about them. Well then, allow me to explain about action points. There are three, ooh, yes, three kinds of attacks, weak, strong, and fierce, each using up a set amount of action points when performed. When all your action points are used up, your turn will end. Conversely, as long as you have action points left, you may continue to attack. In other words, action points represent how many attacks you can perform in one turn of combat run across. In the beginning, you will only start out with three action points. However, as you increase in level, your action points will increase accordingly. Ooh. The secret in putting up a good fight lies in how you utilize your action points. What strengths of attacks you use and in what order you dish them out in. Cool. Don't hesitate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have more queries, sir. Attack option. My, you're bold? Okay, then allow me to explain to you a little about attacking. I'm sure that you already know that there are three types of attacks. Really? Each of which uses up a different amount of action points. The fierce attack uses up three in a single blow. Oh, hence if you have only three action points, all will be used in one fierce attack. The weak attack, triangle, will use up one point per blow. So with three attack points, you can attack the same enemy three times in rapid succession. The strong attack uses up two per blow. So if you've got three attack points, you can combine one strong attack with one weak attack to total three points. I wonder if it's better to do weak into strong or strong into weak. I bet it depends on... I bet it's different and it just builds different death blows then. It is possible to continually press the X button to keep obliterating enemies in one fierce blow, but you may find out that relying on this will have re repercussions later. Probably because you don't build death blows? Interesting. Ooh, combo. Ooh, the combo option, eh? I didn't expect you to ask about it. Well then, allow me to explain. This is so silly. Yeah, it sounds like Legend of Dragon and Chrono Cross, right? When you use the attack option, there are times when you do not use up all your action points, such as the case when you eliminate an enemy by using only a fraction of your total points, or when you cancel midway through an attack turn. Action points which don't get used are stored in an AP counter. When this AP counter stores up a certain amount of points, you will be able to use combos. Combos are rapid series of death blows let loose all at one time, and they tend to be rather ferocious. Any foe on the receiving end of a combo will likely die. At low experience levels, you probably won't be able to do much combo damage, but in time, you will become able to do some devastating combo maneuvers. Yay, yay, yay. Thank you, sir. I love you, Luca. I know you don't know me in this world, but that's all. That's all. I had to say that. Okay, I'm good. I can leave her in here. If this village gets destroyed and she dies, I will throw this game in the trash, though, so keep that in mind. Alright, we need to go to more houses. Puppy! <laughs> Hello, I saw I pet your dog. Yo, Faye, Alice sure huh? has sure gotten pretty, huh? Come to think of it, Alice, Timothy, and you were always together. I bet you also had a crush on Alice too, eh? Am I right? Ha 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 ha. This is the general store. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, I heard what you had to say. Oh, I should be talking to people twice. At least look at. I hate you guys. Oh, there's a person here. Oh, hi oh, hello. Oh, hi, Faye. Welcome. The big day's finally approaching, huh? Alice and Timothy's wedding is tomorrow. Hey, how about getting them a stamina drink? Of courage and love. What do you think? Come on. You gotta get my present here. We're the only shop in town, you know. What did you want? 
Oh, these have weird names. Snames. Uh, Aquasol. Rose Soul. EP. I still don't know what EP is. Omega Soul. Resource of Fur. Survival Tents. I don't. Why do I have 222 money? I don't have a lot of money yet. It's Kenny Omega Soul? God damn it. Thanks again. Come by anytime. I didn't buy anything. Just, be, just because Alwis is getting married doesn't mean you have to be sad. Wait. When I get we go, I'll be your bride. Ugh. Will you wait for me? Okay. Okay, if I say sure, I'll wait. I might get something from this kid. But you all need to um, kill my character because he's a pervert. Sure, I'll wait. Really? You mean it? Then cross your heart. I hope to die. Stick a needle in your eye. It's all set then. Our burning love has been tied by unbreakable bonds. I didn't get anything! Fuck. Well. I lied to a child. Sorry, kid. Don't worry. You're in an RPG town. You'll probably die before you get older. Did I ever play Radical Dreamers? I did not, but I want to. Is it the child of Homestar Runner? Maybe. <gasps> Lucas! One. Thank you for following. Welcome. Ooh, a little tavern. Hmm? Young one, beware, I can see it. There's a dark and icy wind that blows where you're going. A wind that nurtures grief and resentment, inviting death from which there is no salvation. No one will be able to escape from it, but you and only you must eventually face up to that dark wind. Just kidding. I've always wanted to try saying that. Did I scare you? I'm really sorry. <laughs> Tony Spike, thank you so much for resubbing for a seventh month. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Strongbad. <laughs> Guess who just promised you marry me? How do you marry with boxing gloves on? Have you heard the latest rumors? It said that in the southern desert of Ava, I don't know if it's Ave or Ava. Ave, there's a buried treasure. There's buried treasure all over the place. There's hundreds of people who are trying to strike it rich by digging everywhere. A single strike could make you totally rich. Drink. Eh, but then again, you never can tell how much is the truth. In life, if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Ah. So do you say other things? No. Okay. Go away. What? Damn it! It's Abba! Having a sneaky watch while I work? I always pronounce Eva as Avu, but who knows? I don't think she pronounced either of those the way that you meant. Ava, right? <laughs> she said like AV. This Uwu voice hurts. It hurts me more than it hurts. There's a dog! Was I just running on this dog? I'm sorry, dog. Oh my, welcome, Faye. You want to have some fun? I give the best service in Lahan, you know. Hey, Ellen, quit teasing the innocent kid. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just a jokey blockhead. Jesus! I thought that was real. Gee, he's got sharp hearing. Anyway, maybe next time, okay, Faye? I'll be waiting. Yeah. I don't like it anymore. Got a problem with me? <laughs> drinking at midday? How could I not be drinking? Damn it. You got a problem, boy? Uh, no, go, go for it. Yeah, I hate drunks. Nope. I think I'm gonna say... <laughs> Drinking won't help matters. Shut up! What do you know? You don't know how I feel. I wouldn't want you to know. Damn it. No, wait, wait up, boy. Huh? I'll give you this. Take it. Huh? What is, th what is that? I have no use for it. Don't worry about it. Just take it. Nobody knows. In the depths of the sea, 
tear drop shed by a murmur. I received a mermaid tear. South of here is the <laughs> South of here is the Black Moon Forest. If you can make it through there, you'll come to Ava. The great land of fire. I shouldn't be wasting my time here in this little country village. Why well, I ought to go to Ava and work there. Beautiful women and good liquor. And if I work hard enough, I'll be rich in no time. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? Can I talk to you again? Nobody knows in the depths of the sea a teardrop shed by a mermaid. It's not some dream, you idiots! <laughs> I'm playing this on a PlayStation. Just an OGPS one. Uh, it's the 9-something model. If you want that information, I don't know if that matters. I can't remember exactly what the Numbi is. It's one of the latest ones that came to the US, though. I think it's the last version that came to the US. It's like the most reliable one we have now. Pay no attention to the fool. He's always saying all this carefree stuff. In reality, it's an incredibly hard task to get through the Black Moon Forest. Lots of dangerous beasts and fierce and fire-eating lizards make their home there. It'd be better for you to stay away from there. I'm probably gonna have to go there. <laughs> Ave? We played this on the Vita when it was ported. Oh! I don't know, there might be changes. This is basically as 1.0 as it gets. If that helps. Ooh, sorry, I didn't need to clip into you. I wouldn't need anything else if I could only live together with my family, just the three of us. Why can't men understand something so simple? I wouldn't need anything else. I, I don't know what happened to you. You say, um, hey? Oh, hello. You look mad. Hi there, Faye. Did you know that beyond the Black Forest lies the great kingdom of Ave? What I need is for someone in the game to fucking say it out loud in a cutscene. Pronounce it however you want. It's either Ave or Ava. Ave? Ave is probably right because it has E-H for A. Hmm. Yeah. How dare you pun at me, child? It's got... Trying this again. A-A-A-A-V-A. <laughs> She failed again. Thank you for the bits, Fractal. Nice, nice try. It's got a big capital city with lots of people living there. My father is working somewhere in Ave. Soon my father is going to come pick mother and me up so that we can all live together in Ave. Oh, father, please come home soon. Oh, I wonder if that's what the lady was talking about. Can I jump off of this? Hell yeah! And I didn't break my legs. Okay, so this was the pub. The Laughing Fox and Piglet Tavern. Drunks, welcome! What the fuck? We have a back door. Pro gaming, thank you. Hey. Ah, Faye, that's the back door. Go around and come through the front door. No. Look, it's me, I work here now. Okay, they don't want to talk. Ave. Ava. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally walk out of town again. This town is cool, and I like everybody, and I really, really, really like the dialogue so far. It's very readable. We played a lot of games where it sounds like I'm a, a stuttering ding dong because I can't read. Oh, good, Faye. You ready to talk? As you know, tomorrow is finally the day of my sister's wedding. 
You look like a weird child. So, what I want to talk to you about is exactly that. Alice's marriage. Faye, to be perfectly honest with you, I've always wished you could have been my brother. It, what the fuck? It's pronounced gif. Oh! <gasps> this is why this is the best text-to-speech lady. Thank you, Mildane. It sure is pronounced gif with a hard g. <laughs> he looks like a gnome. He kind of does look like a gnome. Correct. It's still not too late. You could go steal Alice and run off with her. If you need me to help, I'd be glad to. It may be odd for me to say this, but my sister's beautiful and a good cook. And this is just between you and me, but she's well and down too. Ha <laughs> ha! I hate the children in this town. What did you just do? So come on, go for it. That's crazy. No. Hey, what are you talking about, Dan? Timothy and Alice are both my best friends. You know I can't do that. I'm gonna slap this kid. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Well, if you're gonna be like that. But if you change your mind, come and talk to me. I'm glad that I'm looking at my character and not this horrible little gremlin. All right, we need to go talk to his sister now in a way that does not steal her away. Okay, here she is. Kid's forehead is well endowed. <laughs> That's mean. We shouldn't say that. Foreheads aren't bad. It's just that his hair... He looks like a leprechaun, man. To see if she's well endowed? No! To, <clears throat> to wish her well. Does it do Gail correctly? Why, Shia, it does. It says Gil. Not something that a horrible husband would say to try to ruin his wife's life for two years by saying Jill. <sighs> Thank you, Shia. Oh, it's Alice's aunt. Why, hello, Faye. Have you come to visit our Alice? She's upstairs right now. <sighs> but doesn't time fly? It's already been ten years since my brother and his wife passed away. We did our best to raise the two children in their place. <sighs> but now, as far as Alice is concerned, I can finally say my job is done. I know Timothy will take good care of her from here on. Now all that's left is Dan. Uh, I'm gonna have a hard time raising him to adulthood. Yes, you will! Joke's on you, I muted the stream. Fuck. Why would someone think that was right? They don't. They're being mean to me specifically. <gasps> what a beautiful dress! Hello, Alice. Is that your wedding dress? Oh! Faye, you startled me. Yes, it is. I just finished it. It took more work than I expected. That's gorgeous. Hmm. You did a great job there. It'll look wonderful on you, Alice. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, Al. Oh, uh, Faye? What is it? Oh, nothing. Uh, I see. It's Gahil. I'm fucking dying. Don't be a homewrecker. Oh my god, I'm not going to. Shut up. I already told the kid I'm not gonna do that. Uh, uh, yes, that's right. Faye, have you seen Dan? Yeah, he's outside bragging as always. Kid, I just told him that I had to run an errand. Huh? An errand for him to run. Oh yeah, what kind of errand? It's for my wedding ceremony tomorrow. I was hoping he could go borrow a camera from and some lights from Doctor Uzuki up on Mountain Peak. My fucking my my mic is like in the way of the bottom text. Hold on, I'm gonna like scoot it down. If that's all it is, I'll be glad to do it for you. Could you? Oh, but I couldn't possibly. Ah, don't worry, it's no problem. Anyway, it doesn't exactly make me feel comfortable having Dan handle such delicate instruments. Screw Dan. Her, her name is pronounced Gallus. You must be right. 
What's more, I might have a chance to eat some of Yui's cooking if I go to the dog's place. <laughs> That's my fae. Well, I'll go up there now and get them for you. Oh, fae, wait. Hmm? Is there something else you want me to get from... Satan? No, it's not that. thought about things this way? If... If you had only been born in this village, and if we had only known each other earlier on... Oh, no. <laughs> Satan? Oh, it's nothing. I'm sorry. I'm not the homewrecker, it's not me! Well, I think I'd better get going now. Oh, okay. Be careful on that mountain path, and give my regards to Dr. Izuki. Is this fate? Dude! If you liked him, you should have done something before the day before your wedding, man. Call it off and have it nothing to do with him, and then you guys can get together in like a year. It'll be okay, I promise. Fuck. Shit. Now I don't want her to get married. I didn't know this is how she felt. I would have done it. <laughs> I feel so foolish. Who am I kidding? Everyone in this time we had, we will totally forgive you. Shit. Well, they'll just move to Portland and it'll be fine. <sighs> Emotions. Okay, this is fine. Where the f fuck am I? Someone's house. Actually, Faye, I was hoping you'd go break us up. I was looking for an excuse to go to uh, Ave and be a bachelor. Look, sometimes, sometimes you're in love with your best friend and you can't tell him because you're dating someone else. And then, and then you realize that you're being stupid and you break up with that person. And then everybody hates you. And then you move. <laughs> Mountain path ahead, beware of the HP gobbling hobgobs. <laughs> Those wishing to see the doctor on the mountaintop should proceed with courage and conviction. Timothy is in love with Faye? Exactly. What is this? Oh, the general store. Why does it have scissors? Oh well. I want to talk to Timothy again. They have to make their own choices. I shouldn't have anything to do with it. Uh, you. Hey, did you know your fucking wife-to-be- Oh. So how is Alice? I still can't believe we're really getting married tomorrow. It's such a weird feeling. We've always been together ever since we were just little kids. If it wasn't the day before her wedding, I wouldn't- I wouldn't hesitate to be like, yeah, we'll be together. But- Right, they could just be a throuple. That's true. They could also do that. But, like, the day before your wedding does fucking weird stuff to your brain. The doctor lives on top of a dangerous mountain peak as a jump bar for security. This is my first playthrough, yes. And no, I've never played any other gear Gearses or Xenos. If that helps. <laughs> Though I did find Luca and cried. Don't judge me. Uh, I think we need to go up here. I wanted to save again. Um, that was in the, like, guide store. Thing. Do, do, do. I think it's in here, maybe? There we go. I'm gonna be saving quite a bit. I get really anxious in these games. Uh, Dubhuds, thank you for following. Welcome. Thank you very much. 
Also, I'm probably gonna start doing alternating saves since we do have two spots open. Um, when we go to like different places. Hopefully this game isn't like... Tactics where I could soft block myself. And hopefully it also isn't like sweet coded and I can miss people. But well, anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. If I fuck it up, I fuck it up. And we live with it. Okay, mountain path. We need to go get a camera. Oh. It's not the overworld. There's a safe here. God damn it. This way, walking course. Watch out for the cliffs. That way, doctor's house right after the bridge. All right, let's go. It's so weird having a character that talks. We haven't had that in so long. I wonder if they're around even... <laughs> Random encounters. Wait. Uh, yes, we're learning how to fight. Okay, so, one do like small, small, small. Oh, it died. And that'll build up my AP gauge. He, um, he moves like fucking. Is that dude in Street Fighter? I can't remember his fucking name! How do I get over there? Is guided shot. I want to try it. Cool. Where's the time gauge? Oh, that's a hobgob. How do we get over there? Oh, there we go. Punch. Big punch. I did a kick. It didn't die. Yes, it did. <laughs> All right, cool. This fighting is definitely different from what I was expecting. I used two EP. I didn't get anything. Blanca? No, not Blanca. Not Ryu either. I think... I guess Guile kind of stands like that too. Hmm? Alright, so unfortunately there are, whoa, random encounters in this game instead of enemies on the map. Dakuzuki's house is over that bridge and up to the north. What? There was a fucking person right there. Hello, child? That music sounds so much like Final Fantasy Tactics music. I want to do one, two, three. There we go. Because I want to learn this stuff. The movement on these this UI is bonkers. This is cool. The graphics age well. Yeah, this is really interesting. You're in the near raids and legit thought evilies. Yes, exactly. This sounds that like start in sounds a lot like um Final Fantasy Tactics music. Oh, hey, GT. Hello. What? Oh, 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 oh. She's fucking slid down a mountain. Hey, kid. Child. Hello. Oh, it's you, Faye. Huh? The cliff's edge collapsed from the heavy rain we had recently. I hope you're all right, Faye. You can do a big jump to get across it, but I'm too scared. Huh? Wait. Hey, what's a? What's a big jump? How could you forget? A big jump is done by pressing the triangle button while running with the... Damn it! It's Mario jumps. You can jump much further than with a regular jump. Faye, you never have any problems. It's not fair. Herp. I touch trees. <laughs> Mario time. Big jump. I want to try a three. Yeah. It only did eight. This dog's going to bite me now. 
Oh, wait. Oh, I did the wrong fucking button. Yeah. Thirty. That's cool. Hmm. I can tell if I just queued it up or if it's just pressing too fast. Ooh. Hub jerky. Okay. I accidentally clicked through my level up. I didn't mean to. What's that? Can I jump off of this? No. That's some good creaky- oh. Creaky bridge sound. Aqua soul. Cool! Oh, it disappears. That's nice. So I won't ever go back to a chest that I can see. Because they disappear. Get up the cliff. Headbutts wolf to death? Yeah, hob jerky. That's a little concerning. You can't just have all been the same so far. I need to check my death whatever menu to see if I'm doing this right. You can preemptively charge them up. Oops, I did it wrong. I guess it still worked. We don't know which orders matter yet. I hope there is a bunny Gundam in this game. I also hope there's a bunny Gundam. Fienor's there. Thank you so much for resubbing for a 14th month. Welcome back. Oh, also, Octavia Kim's like super over. It's because I started it late that I let it go longer. Oops. Oh, there's a pet Octavia. I totally fucking missed. Sess, I'm so sorry I missed it. I was distracted by video game. Hold on. We need to check our menu anyway. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I pet her. She just rolled over because she knew. You want some pets? Wait, almost deleted the camera. You want some pets? Kitty cat pets. The best sort of distraction is distraction by video games as one is enjoying. That's true. Enjoy your pets, I say to my cat, I guess. All right. Video game. So. Abilities, possibly? Nope. Status. It's in status. Skills? Death blows. None. I have none. That's fine. That's fine. This way to Dr. Satan Uzuki's house. <gasps> Fuck. All right, I'm going to be really careful about falling off of cliffs. You also enjoyed the pets. Ooh, two whoops. He does a little flippy to get up. Alright, my health is okay. Love the attack marks. I'm not getting any money from encounters, which is interesting. There's supposed to be a severe thunderstorm running out through your neighborhood as my kid's walking out of school today. Aw, oh, man, that sucks. Alright. I can't make the camera go like up and down to change my perspective. Which is interesting. Ooh. That's a lot of uh, horrible buildings. I guess we should kill the ones that are right in front of us. Oh no, it's just gonna come over and kick my ass. Oh no, it had to move. And that'll go into my... Oh, did it? 
figure this out. They look like the secret of everyone first ones. They're apparently hobgobs. I have to see what this jerky does. I can possibly eat it. Though that seems like a bad idea. Restores a 50 HP. What the hell? Oh, only outside of battle. I might as well try some. Delicious. Yeah, the battle theme is really good. I mean, I'm assuming this music is going to be destroying us, so. <gasps> what are those? Little birds? Really making use of the 3D. Injured, sick, all accepted. Come on in, but no deceased, please. What? When does that become an issue? The GUI reminds you of Armored Core? Oh, I think we own that. Hello? Okay, that's a choice in sound. Hello? Who are you? I look like Cynthia. Oh, Faye, welcome. Hello, Yui. Where's Doc? My husband is tinkering with his junk out in the backyard. Oh, I should have guessed. Doesn't he ever get sick of playing with that stuff? Well, okay then. I'll go out into the backyard and see if I can find him. She looks like Cynthia from Pokemon. She's even got the little black things on her head. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Armored core on a pole? I don't know what that game is, so maybe. Hi, Midori. It's a nice day to play outside. How about we feed the birds later? Oh, okay. Fuck me, I guess. Tinkering with this junk. Oh my god, you guys are gross. It's a completely innocuous thing to say. Hello. What a horrible sound. Give me your stuff. Yeah. Whoa! There's like a fucking mech chicken on top of this thing. Oh, it's like a helicopter with legs! Me! Alright, that's pretty cool. What's up here? Ah, I'm stuck. <gasps> Sorry, chickies. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna do the house the right way. I'm gonna go through the back, and we're gonna see where we go. <laughs> hey, welcome! Welcome, welcome. Everybody who's new, you're totally welcome here. Please keep in mind, no, no spoilers and no help, but uh, other than that, you're all, you're all very welcome. Oh, it just popped me up right here. That's a chicken. Ugh, ugh. Oh, a chest. What's that weird sound? like a little monkey on the floor. Apparently I'm not allowed to have this. Damn it. I'm gonna jump on your bed. <laughs> okay, I jumped on her monkey like five times. Oops. <sighs> it's really lovely and it's all gonna get destroyed. I can feel it. Hello? Sir? Real, huh? Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. Why did I just expect Fate to bounce like in Mario RPG? That's a good question. Holy shit. <gasps> Do you want to look through the telescope? Sure.
There's my little town. It's like, it's like Final Fantasy IX. This is gorgeous. What? The telescope is not pointed at Faye's bedroom. Can I get up here? <gasps> Hi, birds. Sorry. Wee! I'm glad my legs don't break. Where are you, dog? Oh! Oh no. What's going on? Oh, this is no good. Why do they use such inferior parts? This is why their intervention stra- Hmm? Oh! Dog! Oh, so that's where you were. Oh, Faye, good to see you. Are you alright, dog? What are you doing all the way up there? I need to come up with a voice for him. I thought I would try to restore this land crab. Land crab? I want a land crab. Stan. Oh, and that explosion was nothing to worry about. It happens all the time. <laughs> Could you wait a while? I'm just about ready to call it a day. Oh yes, there is something interesting in that storeroom. Why not take a look? Okay, Doc, I will, but please hurry up. It'll get dark before you know it. Okay. I want a land crab. That sounds incredible. Oh, hey, yeah, Genesis. Genesis Evangel I can't see. I'm gonna say your name without fucking it up. Neon Genesis Evan Gamer. Hello. Hey, Evan. So this is what Doc was talking about. Let me see. What's so interesting about it? Whoa. Wow. What? What is this? This music, I've heard it before somewhere. What do you think? Not bad, huh? Doc? Hello again, Faye. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Music is a mysterious thing. Sometimes it makes people remember things that they do not expect. Many thoughts, feelings, memories, things almost forgotten. Regardless of whether the listener desires to remember them or not. Doc, what is this? It was excavated from some old ruins and is still under repair. Oh, Evan, thank you so much for stopping. I really appreciate that. Welcome. Enjoy your emotes, friend. Thank you very much. Obviously, it is an audio device of some type. Uh, Mr. Maglor, thank you for following. Welcome. Long ago, people would listen to this melody, just as we are doing now. At times, they would have been cheered up. Well, at times, they would have been made to cry. By the way, what brings you here today? Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Alice asked me to borrow some camera equipment from you. Oh, yes, her wedding is tomorrow, right? Understood. Well, we had better get ready, Evan. Blah, get them ready, then. I'm, like, obs I'm very distracted. Hold on. I gotta, like... Having the composer that it has and having a specific plot point about music bringing back memories is pretty fucked up, especially after having Luca in here. Oh, and dinner should be ready soon. Would you like to join us? Oh, what I ever! I was hoping you would ask. 
I still have some cleaning up to do out here. Would you mind giving Midori some company back in the house? Okay, take your time, Doc. I'll go ahead and eat when dinner is ready. <laughs> go right ahead. But I will not be held responsible if you get a stomachache from my- Eating my wife Yui's cooking. Fuck you! Doc, I feel strange when I listen to this music. I feel something warm inside. That just may be because you have someone living inside of you. And he too must have liked this music a long time ago, before he became a part of you. What? Is Timothy and Alice's wedding really tomorrow? It might actually be better to live an ordinary life in this condition. As a son of man. Well, anyway, I suppose I had better adjust the gyro at least. Huh? an omen? Now what is going to happen? I thought it melted, but I think it just fell apart. Mmm, that was good. Haha, -ha, let's pretend nothing happened. Your cooking never fails to impress me, Yui. Thank you for such a delicious meal. You're welcome. If you like my cooking that much, then I'd be happy to cook for you any time, Faye. I will bring the equipment you need to the village tomorrow morning myself. It does not exactly make me feel comfortable to have you handle such delicate instruments, I'm afraid. Fuck you! Where have I heard that line before? That's alright by me. Well, see you tomorrow, Doc. Good night, Yui, Midori. Good night. We're looking forward to tomorrow's wedding. Well, good night, Doc. Yes, good night. He- I'm fucking suspicious of this guy. Oh, Faye, please be careful. Uh, I mean, the path is dangerous when it is so dark. What's wrong, Doc? There's nothing to worry about. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Faye, and do be careful. Okay. Wow, this is really dark. I wonder if it's worse at night. Maybe I should have gone that other way f first. It doesn't help that it's really bright in my office. What's that? Flying objects went toward Lahan. So, you saw them too. Judging by their shadows, they appear to be a group of gears from our neighbor country, Kislev. Those were gears? Fuck. Oh no, they're headed directly for Lahan. Fucking knew it! The ones I just saw? Let us make haste. Right. Shit. Come back here! I. I'm not good at jumping as you! Okay, let's save here. 
Fuck, fuck. Save. I'm gonna make a new one. That's that sounds interesting. Maybe we should have gone the other way. Oh crap, I should have explored. No. Lahans. Every fucking time I get a town. Alice, Timothy, Dr. Azuki, Faye. Doctor, they just came out of nowhere and landed right in our village. I know. What on earth are they doing starting a battle here? Are you all okay? Yes, but Dan, it's... Huh? It's Dan? We can't find him? Oh my god, the kid's gonna die. I'll go look one more time. Alice, go ahead and get out of the village. No, Timothy, wait. You, Alice, and the rest of the villagers should evacuate to a safer location. Doc, you know I can't just leave Dan behind. Timothy... I understand how you feel, but leave the rest up to Faye and me. The primary thing you should be concerned with is your own safety. Timothy, responsibility is to protect Alice. But... It's just as Doc says, the two of you should get out of the village now. Don't worry about Dan. Knowing him, he has already evacuated and is waiting for you. I guess you're right. Okay, Alice, let's get Dr. Azuki and Faye... Hmm? Let's let Dr. Azuki and Faye handle it from here. God damn it. This... This kid's gonna die. It's gonna be my fault. Yes, okay. Thank you, doctor. But Faye, please look out for Dan. Yeah, don't worry. If he still happens to be in the village, I'm sure I'll be able to save him. Now both of you, hurry! I will go check inside the houses to see if there is anyone left behind. Faye, please go around the village and guide the stragglers to a safe location. All right, but Doc, you be careful too, okay? You too, Faye. What? Wait. What's happening? Whoa! Uh. What the fuck? Huh? What the fuck are you doing? Huh? Faye? Wait, Faye! Do not do this, Faye. You must not fight here. Faye! What the fuck? Why? What the hell? 
Libby Blobity, linguistic modifier enabled. Okay. I'm not doing any of this. Identified. Lamb. Ignis dialect. No pilot experience. Easy mode set. Synchronizing input interface with pilot's normal reflex time. What the fuck? Warning to pilot. Combat mode about to enter combat. 1200 units of fuel left. Utilize command ring in upper left of screen to select attack. Uh, then triangle square X buttons to commence auto attack sequence. Power and fuel usage differs with type of attack. Charge restores 30 fuel units. Okay. Warning, enemy gears are now preparing to attack. Terminating health mode. No! Who am I? I don't... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, booster? What did I do? Oh, fuck! Ow. Okay. Attack. Okay, it's different. I don't... health I have. Oh, I do. Oh, I have a ton of health. Charge? Do I have a... Oh, fuck! That's fuel! What's wrong with me? to be the best. huh? Wait, is he... I'm fucking lucid? Faye, what the hell? On my right, too. Damn it. How many of them are there? What? Are you just shooting me? I guess there's no choice. But to fight. What? All these by myself? Why are we even in this? PlayStation is a uh, thinking. Hey, Omni Gamer. <gasps> hey, the way you're fighting. Oh no. This is not good if he awakens here. What? Doc! Oh, Dan! 
Don't die, kid. Even if you are weird looking. Are you alright? What on earth are you doing here? Do you not know how worried Alice and Timothy are? Are you really gonna do that right now? I'm sorry, Dr. Izuki. I got out of the village earlier, but I came back. I just couldn't bear to think of leaving my sister's wedding dress behind here. You returned to save your sister's wedding dress? You are such a sentimental little boy. Let us evacuate to a safer spot while Faye has their attention. It appears that they are after that gear Faye is in. Huh? Faye's inside that monster? Faye is bound by the dark, cruel destiny of God. I don't understand what that means, old man. Come on now, Dan. We'd better get away from here. Dan! I told you to leave! Nobody leaves. I knew you were still in the village. I'm glad you're okay. Huh? Don't get stuck. Oh my god. I fucking told you to leave. Oh no! Timothy! Uh... Wait! Don't shoot! Stop it, these people have nothing to do with you. Oh, 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 oh. Timothy. Out of the way, you bastards. Are you leaving? Leave. Go away. Oh. Stop it. I said stop. Stop it. Huh? Alright, who are we? Do we get to find out? <gasps> oh my god. What? I, oh, what am I supposed to do now? Okay. Uh, Mixwebs, thank you very much for gifting us up to Jojo Star 07. Thank you. Also, Bird1456, thank you for following. Welcome, everybody. Huh? Where am I? Wait. Er there's still some people who are alive? Doc? Oh, you finally gained consciousness, Faye. Doc, what happened? Where's Chief Lee? Timothy? Alice? What? What did I... Yes, well, that is... You murderer! Dan. Dan, what do you mean? Faye, it was because you had to go get in that monster. Alice and Timothy, the people of the village are all... You killed everyone using that monster. 
Oh, hi. Why did you have to fight in the middle of the village? How do you even know how to operate such a monster? Mother, where mother? See, I told you so. I said allowing someone we knew nothing about into our village would spell disaster. Oh, it hurts. Dan, I... Yikes. No, keep away, I'm scared. Ah! Murderer! My sister! Give me back my sister! Dan, there's nothing to be gained from putting the blame all on Faye alone. What is more, you know Faye had no control over the malfunction of that gear. I... I know that! But... But... I hate you! Ah! Might be better if we let him by himself for a little while. He does not know what to do with his grief, his anger. And Faye, it may be a good idea for you to leave this place. There's no guarantee that reinforcements from yesterday's unit are not going to come. They will probably want to know what happened to their comrades. Also, if you stay here, I do not think the atmosphere is going to be very joyful, if you know what I mean. It is probably best for both you and all the other villagers here. I guess you're right. This disaster happened because I was here. What am I supposed to do now? Yes, well, why not go through the Black Moon Forest and head for Ave? Are you kidding me? I'm sure those soldiers from yesterday were not from Ave. If you can manage to get to the Ave side, they will not be able to track you down very easily. Okay, I understand, Doc. Well, anyway, please take care of the rest of the things here, Doc. Of course. Well, do take care now. I... What do we do about that thing? You killed everyone with that monster. Murderer, my sister, give back my sister. good way to fucking put it. You should sell it for cash. Just pawn it. Well, I guess I'm gonna save. God, it's incredible. I'm still very, very, um, overwhelmed by the mech part of it, but, like, <laughs> this intro's been great. Oh, hey, we can go to you. Alright, so I have a map now. I, like, okay, so, the town did get destroyed, kinda, I guess, which is what I thought was going to happen. But it didn't help that everybody's writing was so good and that the town was very condensed. Because it just made me feel worse! I also didn't think I was going to... 
vaporize half of the people, including my favorite character. Well, I guess we're going on an adventure. Everything's fine. That that in that intro was fucking insanely good. Absolutely incredible. I'm like <laughs> a little overwhelmed with how good that was. A little cobalt. Why did I turn around and let them hit my butt? That doesn't seem right. Well, I guess we're normal. Doing normal things now. that side of the mountain. I wonder if I can go back. Oh, what? He just shot me with a rock? He was stretching. I got shot with a butt. Did I miss? That's not good. No. I'm so curious if I can actually go back or not. I haven't even tried. Cool monster design? It is cool monster design so far. I mean, we've only seen a couple things, but... Luca nope down. I'm sure Luca's fine. Fancy cat? Yeah, that was... I. If I had played the intro to this as a kid, I would have never... I would have been like, I need this. I need this fucking game. Go down. Okay, well, I don't know if I could do it, go down the ocean yet. Oh, hey, you Johns. Alright, hold on. I've got another one. I have four. What's the other one we said about this? Double swing. Was supposedly something? Rock jerky. There was a demo for this game? Yeah, I have the demo. It came with um, another game that I have. It's adventure time. Come on, kill your friends. We'll go to distant lands with Faye the Human and Alice the Horse. Wow. Hessian, Hessian did that. I hope you're happy. I want to see if I can go back. If they'll like kick me out or if I can go into that part of the mountain we didn't go to. The demo for this game is hilarious. This game had like no marketing. How? It's... 42. Interesting. I, I, we should have played the demo. I own it. That bumps me up. But cheer up the overworld music. Oh yeah, don't be sad. Have we saved? Yeah, we saved. We saved since killing our friends. I'm not allowed back in. Oh, that's fucked. All right. Oh, this is the forest. Hold on. I want to see what's around the side of this mountain. I'm literally not allowed back in. Uh, three blades. Thank you very much for following. Welcome and free player Kate. Thank you for the raid. Welcome everybody. Hope you're having a good uh, afternoon. I don't know what time it is. Hello. Demo has spoilers. Ah, okay, okay. Good to know. Oops. I had to run back. Oh well. Headbutt. This. I've got to check to see if we're doing any death blow stuff. But it might be that we can't see it yet. I doubt they'd allow one who turned their village into overcooked Cumberly back in. I didn't mean to. They know I didn't mean to. I have a- Ah! I have one! Rai- Raijin. Okay. 
So we just need to do whatever the fuck that is multiple times. I know where I'm supposed to be going, but I figure why give me a corner to explore if I if there's nothing there? It's not his fault. He prefers barbecue. Oh my god. I'm still guided shot. And I can't do death blows yet. That's fine. Let's just try one, two, three. And see if it does anything. Alright, let's see if triangle, 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 triangle is the thing. Because if I figure it out, I can write it down in the track. Six. I don't think so. I'm gonna make a page. How oh, crud. I'm gonna cut it. I'll make a page for Death Blows. when I find them, I can write them down. Okay, so that's not it. There's nothing here. Oh well. I guess we're gonna go to the spooky forest. Man! I should have gone that other direction. I didn't think that within, like, two hours our first town would be fucking destroyed. What are you?! Marketing. <laughs> His friends were cheaping out on the. Oh my fucking god! I cannot. I cannot read that loud. Ah, oh, wait. I think that's it. Cause it went up. Oh, <gasps> Shaya! Thank you very much for gifting a sub to Edible Dragon. I'm assuming for that horrible pun. Traitor. Thanks, Shaya. Enjoy your email. Okay, so I think it's triangle, triangle, square. It might be. You dark. Whatever. Anyway, watch out with the fun facts, everybody. Please. Careful, careful. Let's wait until the end of the game to talk about that stuff. Please and thank you. He does do a little stretch. So I want to keep doing... I want to try other stuff, though. Maybe... Bop, bop. I don't think that did anything. Let's see if this affects it. This is a 61. This death flow stuff is very interesting to me. If I didn't look at chat and have to see a fun fact every time. Um, I, I don't want to know what its plan was or, you know, any of that stuff. Or what, what game it was going to be. Um, I'd rather not know about that. Thank you. They get about it till death. Thanks, Razo. Alright, so we're gonna go to... Let me in. Black Moon Forest. I just want to know what the game tells me itself. It's so dark. Like, it's wicked dark on your screens, too. Ah! 
Okay, don't jump scare me with birds. It's not even birds, it's wolves. Hmm. I guess we'll keep doing this move to get our death point. Nothing scarier than a parrot. I mean, when they fly at you out of nowhere. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh, ooh. Ow. Bastard. Four. Okay, so that is working the way I thought it did. Why did it... It seemed like it wasn't working before. I wonder if it's because I'm still in the intro. And then when that finishes up, it'll do like some kind of crazy thing. I'm bummed. I mean, I guess it's called Black Moon Forest. So of course, it's going to be dark. But I've... Oh. I don't think I was supposed to be attacked right there. Huh? What's that? Hello? I wish I had a map and not this big compass. Can't change it, can I? No. Save before I came in here, did I? It's so dark. I guess I could take attack me with light, but I don't want to do that. Holy shit! I need an AOE move. I didn't heal either. HP absorb? 15! Jesus! Oh, right. I can't use um, the food in battle. Love the item sound. Alright, we're gonna eat more jerky. I'm gonna try to top myself out when we're um, not in fights, because I don't have a lot of aqua souls. Because I totally didn't buy any, because I didn't think my town would get destroyed. Solely over the course of like 10 years. Really? I kicked that dog so hard it blood. This doesn't make sense though. And then we're building AP. But I, it seems to only be per fight. I can't quite tell. We're gonna have to check. So I have 8. And if I go into another fight, I don't think it'll be there anymore. Puppies. Is that a toe being assault? I just probably keep the poop at me. Or like poison ivy. 
Hi. Where are you going? <gasps> A save point! Thank you! Little thing. You can kick the dog in Xeno Gears. We pet a lot of animals. I guess technically we touched them and they made sounds at us, but that's the same thing. Into the wood. Where do these chapters? Interesting. And the question is, are you a friend? I didn't want to fight you, I wanted to say hi. God damn it. Sorry. Yeah, my AP goes back. Okay, so it's per fight. I feel guilty. Saying hi with your fist. All I did was click on it. I wonder if we only have to get the uh, points to 100. I should check it again. Triangle, triangle, square. I'm sure it'll tell me. Er, actually, I'm not sure if it will tell me. Your first village and now your forest friend. Can you not murder for five minutes? No. Apparently I can't. <gasps> Whoa! Well, shit. Send that to Hagen or Hagan. Okay. to get past you, bud. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel bad killing these. It doesn't seem like they want to fight me. Alright, um... I totally forgot the numbies that this had. I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones they told me to do. At the beginning of the game. to Ali Cat, but that is very sweet. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes, friend. Right. Oh! I fucking skipped a level up again! Hello. 62.55. Okay, so it's not square square. <laughs> That's something. <gasps> oh, ow, 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 ow. I just fell off. It's too dark. I should have healed. What am I doing? Oh, hey, Monkin Punk! It's lovely to see you. What the hell? Alright, let's try maybe square triangle triangle. Don't hurt me too much. Armor guard? One, okay. Square. Oh, wait. Yeah. Square. Triangle. This isn't working at all. Ooh. Ew! 
you! Don't wiggle your butt at me. There we go. Uh, Biff! Thank you for following. Welcome. Biz fruit. Okay. I have to keep going into my menu because I don't know what I'm doing. They didn't go up. Well, that's weird. I don't think Raijin's been going up either. Maybe I did it wrong. But it... Whatever, I'll figure it out. We'll just keep doing different things in the level up. Bizfruit restores EP. Ah, oh, it's good because I oh because I had to use it to play clever game. Okay, so the little. turn this up like the brightness but I feel like it'd be mean and cheaty my hands are too small to run and jump almost fell off again okay, let's see if this is the one it's not! Eh, I want that bag. Combo is what releases all my AP. Safety? Jeez. I want to try it, because I know these things... I know these things die in, like, two triangles. one more and then we're going to see what it does. Five. Okay. Combo. I don't have any. Poop. Wait. Oh, no, I don't have any. That's fine. Well, I'll try. Huh? Wait, so if I mash it? I have the chance of missing out on the left over AP. But it does it all that one enemy. That's weird. Hmm? Run a horse. What? Katinayu Tat Badain Tuna Akva. What the fuck? Balna Rantak. Rana Kalti. Throw down your weapon. Oh. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. What? Who the fuck are you? Eh. Turn around. Huh? I said turn around. Are you shaking? Be quiet. You don't seem to be one of the Kislev soldiers who are after me, but... Don't move. I have orders to kill all surface dwellers, lambs, I come in contact with. It's part of my mission. It's nothing personal. I have a question for you. How do I get out of this forest? Are you lost? Just answer my question. How do I get out of here? Sorry, but I'm looking for the way out of here too. Oh. How long are you just going to stand there like that? If you're going to shoot me, then hurry up and do it. What an odd thing to say. Don't you understand the situation you're in? I don't care about my situation. I'm just a guy whose life is worthless. There's no point in me living anyway. Dude! 
So stay back. What are you aiming at? Here, shoot me. Come on. Are, are you mocking me? You're weird. Something's very wrong with you. You should at least resist a little bit. What the fuck is that? Who are you? Stop, keep your hands off. Ellie? What? Too much stuff is happening. What the fuck does that mean? Do you know her? Fucking uppercut me? I'll uppercut you. Oops, I should've done the other thing. Ow. Are you all right? Hang in there. Good, you finally woke up. You didn't move for so long, I started to worry. How are you feeling? Do you still intend to kill me? Go right ahead, shoot me. But you better not do it while we're in this forest. Forest monsters hate loud noises, you know? Fine, don't talk to me if you don't want to. But it wouldn't kill you to thank me for tending to your wounds. Thanks, but you shouldn't have helped me. Don't think it will save your life, though. It really doesn't change a thing. What are you so afraid of? I'm not afraid, I'm just being cautious. It's natural for me to be this cautious considering I've met such a suspicious surface-dwelling lamb. Don't you worry, I'm not going to do anything. Besides, you're much more suspicious than I am. Huh? So, what's your name? I won't give my name to a surface dweller, Lamb. What's with you in this Lamb thing? We're both lost in this forest, surrounded by dangerous monsters. Shouldn't we at least be cooperating with each other until we get out of here? Good. So, what's your name? It's going to be hard for us to cooperate with one another, at least, hmm? one another without at least knowing our names. Anyway, my name is Fei Fong Wong. That's my full name? Okay. Remember when I said he reminded me of Fei Long? His fucking name is Fei Wong. You can call me Fei. I'm... Elhaim? My parents call me Ellie. I fucking said her name then. That's actually her name. Ellie. Ellie, huh? Somehow I already knew that. Huh? Anyway, it's too dangerous to travel in these parts this late at night. Let's wait till daybreak before we continue looking for a way out of here. If that's okay with you. I guess we have no choice, do we? Okay then, Ellie. How about having something to eat? What is happening?
must be lonely here by yourself. Faye. 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 Faye? Are you awake? Hi. It, mm. Wait, we're both on the screen together? What? I didn't mean to make them kiss. Shut up. They're not kissing. She doesn't have any death blows. Animal. Whoa, you've got tons of stuff. Animal bowl. Thermo cube. Aqua ice. Terra lens. I hate that there's like text behind that, so it's hard to read. So you've got earth, water, fire, and wind attacks. Um, would you like a hat? What the fuck? Pilot uniform, ether stone, anti ether stone. Magical rod. Man, I don't have a weapon. Okay. take my break but like I don't want to path up watch the cliffs I missed a fucking treasure but I think it's too late now Oops. right I suck I see Mohan village Ave beware of landslides thing on this. There's like a bag. Stop causing environmental damage? No. So does she have her own? She must have her own gauge. different from the other voice she's been using in the cutscenes. Oh, cool! I like a little flip kick. She's so adorable. God damn it. that bag. Here's the rock. Can you push it? No. Maybe it's gone. I saw it though. I saw it once. There's one of those little gerblins. There it is! How do I get up here? I think I have to fall down from that one. So if I have to fall down from that one. These fights are going to make it really hard for me to find things. It doesn't help that this zone is really, really, really dark. Though I guess it's supposed to be. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. I don't know what I just did. I think it defended. Okay, so she builds AP2. So it's not like a thing you need to do. Oh, 
Uh, what kind of upscaler do I use? I use a XRGB mini for- oh, it's already there. Thank you, Austin. It's- it's right there. He's a frame master. Okay, I thought he didn't die for a second. Oh, hey, Zex. Wait, what? Is Rain trying to, like... <laughs> oh, no worries. That's no worries. You can ask me anything. As long as you guys don't tell me stuff about this game, you guys can do whatever you want. I just don't want to be, like... I don't want this game explained to me. I want to play it. You know what I mean? Oh, stairs! Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about, like, what I use or any of that shit, just let me know. Fuck, fuck, fuck! I'm gonna get random randoms encountered out of getting things. It's fine. Soon we'll be so strong they can't do anything to us. Oh, wow, it died in one. Oh, it stopped me from. I feel kind of bad that they turn around and die. I think it's like Chrono Cross where if I try to use my big attacks early, it's harder because they're not getting a standard or whatever. Very interesting. <laughs> Free grinding? Yeah. I just want to see what's in this bag. I don't want to miss anything. You played this game and you still don't get it? Sure, it's fine. Alright. Yeah, I have to do the run jump to get up here. And then we... wait, is there anything up up here though? No. Carefully. Good. Bye. I received <laughs> a healing item. Alright, I'm leaving. Lead the way, little bud. This reminds me of Alundra in that I have to do platforming, but the platforming is a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna save again. Now that I got my dumb bag, worth it? Sh shut up! This is my bag, I needed it. I'll use it for healing. Yeah, I'm just gonna do every other, so be careful. Hopefully I don't save over anything important. Also dark like Alundra. Alundra wasn't that bad with dark. Um, if the whole game ends up being this dark, I'll, I'll go into our settings and fuck around with Oh wait, I have to use my special power. Oh yeah, let's use one of her magics. Don't spit on us. I guess that's true. Oh man, no, I want to use her stuff. Oh wait, that is her. Okay. Ether. Let's do. Let's just do the number. Okay, that was a lot of damage. Just gonna let that bag sit in my inventory for all eternity. I'll use it. When games are too dark, you just up the game on your TV. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> Unfortunately, because this is a stream, I've got to do it for... Oh no, I need to do it for like everybody. But I don't know if this zone is just extra dark, or if it's like the whole game. So, there were a couple games that we actually turned up a little bit. Yeah, the jumping is pretty bad so far. I hate this move! Okay, 
let's see what Terra Line says. Should be nerfed. Okay. Man, we've got to get out of here so I can... Her idol animation's value. I need to get out of here so I can, um... I can go eat lunch! Yeah, I turned on the analog stick, but it doesn't work. That's okay. It'll be fine. Why am I doing this? Oh, right, because I want to see her other stuff. Let's do Thermo Cube, Fire Move. Is it just gonna put it in there? It's not even a cube! It's just fire! Boo! It's a missed opportunity. Why call something a. Lunch. I know, I'm very hungry. I, uh, I want to make a bagel. Alright, let me go this way. Just munch on some hop jerky while playing the game. Nah. Okay. jump on me. Oh, I want that. Ugh. Hello. Heart and soul. There's treasure up there. And a save point. I wish it was only enemies that you could see. Ugh. If I wasn't so afraid of getting disoriented, I would just leave it here. Also, I don't want to leave you guys with just random persons. Oops. Okay. Either... Let's try Aqua Ice. Doesn't look like it can hit multiples. That was very tactics-y! Fading knocked on his ass for one damage. So dramatic. It's like a soccer player. <gasps> Level up. It's interesting that there are physical bars that I can see as well. Screamer bars. Is that just Zeta Soul? Okay. Eat your jerky. Oh, oh, it's a revive. Okay. Good shit. I have to get there from above then. I'm going to turn this fucking game up. I can't see. You guys get to see some of the background shit. This looks somewhere stupid, like color set or something. Yeah. There we go. Nope, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Be bright. Be bright, you piece of shit. We all did that. Look, I my eyes are very bad. So, you're welcome. I turned up the brightness on all. Of you refuse to increase the brightness in games. I fuck that shit. It's an accessibility issue. I don't know. I don't have a problem with it. Especially with um. 
colorblind stuff. Like, darkness is just gonna make it worse. Oh, she has another thing. Oh man, I pressed a button so it used it. Oh, I see. God damn it. For your creative vision. Yeah, whatever. <gasps> Wait, what? That's a thing. Triangle X was a combo. Wait, does that mean it was a... I think I finally learned something. Aha! It keeps it here! Okay, 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 okay. Hell yeah. Alright, I don't have to keep super track of them then. Oh my god, it's so much easier to see now. How the fuck do you want me to get over there? I can't jump up these. Did she just breathe sound magic? Maybe. Path up. Watch the cliffs. Fuck you. Now I find a path. She black canaried them? Yes, she did. Okay, so. I can't use mine yet. But that's okay. I'm fucking lost. Why did I do the big one first? So for you... That's really cool. Mm. And it's not timing based either. It's literally just the order. <gasps> hey, Mr. Jawbones! You missed some crazy stuff. I don't know if you played this. There's kind of some... um, I guess we can kill this one. Oh, that's cool. It tells me at the bottom. So I don't even have to worry about it. He was awesome. It is very cool. I love any type of like active combat within an RPG. Ooh, another revive. Okay, cool. Suplex. Hello, little guys. I don't want to fight you, okay? Go scoot somewhere else. I think I have to jump over there. Oh! They're showing me that I can jump to it. Okay, cool. Hiya! Oh, excuse me. <gasps> Arcane Rod! Gimme, gimme. Can you put things? There you go. make that. Or that. Unless my jump is way bigger than I... Holy fuck! Okay, my jump is huge. <laughs> She's a black mage? What? Watches from the... Why is this bird watching? That's interesting. She really does just go, ah, and then the sound waves kill it. Whoa! Holy shit! Oh, come on. Stupid bird. Of course I missed. I don't know why I did that. I thought I was confirming. She's going to they're really fast, too. Okay. Eat. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. I can use those on enemies. Heard your name? I said Black Mage, not your specific... Alright. Fine. I can hit them. Oh. Could you leave her alone, please? You big bully. Stupid accuracy. 
Let's scream the bird to death. That's what it gets. <laughs> it's you. Yeah, she got like a weird wand. <gasps> I learned it! Okay, 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 okay. So let's see what it is. Wait, what? Faye? Yesterday you said your life was worthless. What did you mean by that? Hmm? Why are you asking? Why? Yesterday you looked like you had a death wish. You think it wouldn't make me wonder? Say, how did you get stranded in this forest in the first place? I should ask you the same question. Huh? Well... Uh... I ran away. From my village, or what's left of it. Village? You don't mean... Mahan. It was a small village that existed between this forest and the mountain range. I ran away from there. That village? It was a nice, peaceful village. Everyone there treated me like family. Then last night, a group of gears suddenly appeared and started fighting right in the middle of the place. The village was engulfed in flames. I couldn't just stand there and watch Lahan be destroyed. So, to try and save the villagers, I got in an empty gear without even knowing how to operate it. I just thought maybe I could do it. No, it was more like someone whispering to me. Someone whispering to me, telling me to do it, but it was a disaster. The village... Was it destroyed by the Kislev army? Faye? No, the village was destroyed... by me. <laughs> yes, it was me. I destroyed the Han. I'm sure of it. What do you mean, you destroyed it? I thought you were trying to help save the villagers. I did try to help. I actually took out a few gears. But then I came under heavy fire from a new group of gears, and then my friend... Timothy was hit by a hail of bullets. Then I lost it. Everything just went dark. I don't remember anything after that. The gear I was in went out of control. That's what Doc said. When I came to the village, and everyone in it was... Alice, she was such... Alice and Timothy, oh God, everybody, all such good people. Went out of control, the gear. What about the village? Faye? Yes, the gear. Still giving chase. We've entered Ovid territory. I'm not giving up now. This gears too. That's done it. I'm at a disadvantage now. Can't help. What's wrong? Respond. Sh shrapnel in my back. My thruster's output is dropping. I, I can't maintain altitude. Damn it! Everyone land now! Regroup on the ground. We'll have to engage them. started fighting there. Then I wouldn't have tried to pilot that gear. It's all their fault, not mine. They're the ones to blame. If they'd never come, none of this would have... If not for them. 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 Enough of that. You're a coward. A coward? Me? Yes, you're a coward. All you're saying is them, them, them. Don't talk as if you had no part of the blame as well. What? I'm to blame. Yes, that's right. 
Of course, the direct cause of battle was that a gear made an emergency landing in your village. But all Kislev wanted was the gear, right? They weren't invading or out to destroy Lahan. The real damage occurred because you climbed in a gear and tried to fight back. Whatever made you get into that gear? Not just anyone can pilot them. It takes training. There's no way a civilian can hope to pilot one. Besides, you should have been helping the villagers flee to safety instead. How can you blame the damage on a gear when it was done? It was your decision to fight it in the first place. Fuck you! Why don't you take some of the responsibility yourself? Why are you putting all the blame on others? That's just running away. This. That's what makes you a coward. Well, if you put it that way, yes, that's right, I am a coward. I didn't realize my own strength and have been blaming what has happened as a result of that on others. This is f fuck you! She's trying to make she's trying to make sure he doesn't know it's her. I hate her. I hate her now. Like he literally lost everyone he ever grew up with in his town. You're gonna make him feel worse. She's shirking. She is. I'm a pitiful excuse for a man, but I just felt this rush of blood in me, and I couldn't help myself. Couldn't help myself or help others. Faye, I, I'm. Shut up. What do you know? When I came to, I was surrounded by piles of rubble. I didn't know what had happened or what I'd done. I remembered absolutely nothing. All I knew was that my hands could still feel what they'd done. The only things that penetrated the gear's barrier were screams. Screams accompanied by the stench of blood, the sound of crushing bones, and my own curses. Look! Look at my hands! Can you hear their voices? Can you understand this feeling? The feeling of having destroyed your village with your own hands. Of not being able to do anything for the children left behind. Now they have nothing. I have nothing. I have nowhere. No one. I didn't want to get in it. I had no choice. There was no other way. Why did I go and say that to him? You talk as if it's not your responsibility. No. I didn't do anything. They died because you had to pilot the gear and start fighting. It wasn't me, can't you understand? Not just anyone can pilot those machines, you know. I didn't do it. Why won't you take responsibility? I'm not so strong. Why are you trying to put the blame on others? I'm not even all that talented. You're a coward! That's right. I'm a coward. Okay. I I don't know if you guys can hear my stomach is like grumbling really loudly. Yes, that's right. I'm a coward. The end. <laughs> the voice acting in this is pretty fucking good. Oh no. Let 
to beat her. I really have to take a break. My stomach is too loud to listen to the cutscenes. Do I stop here? Do I go try to kill a dinosaur? <laughs> Do you guys care if we listen to this music and wait? I have to take my break. I'm sorry. I have to go eat. It's too grumbly, or else we're gonna be hearing dinosaurs come out of my belly. All right. Hey, thank you guys so much for being here. There's a lot of you, and that's really cool. Uh, I have to go eat a bagel so that my stomach shuts up, and then we're gonna come back, and we're definitely gonna save her, and she's not gonna get eaten. Um, hey, if you'd like to drop a follow, feel free. I stream every weekday. We're gonna be playing this literally every day, except the weekends, until, uh, until we're done. It's a two-disc game. Uh, puppet maps, stir. <laughs> Thank you for following. Uh, feel free to join the Discord if you'd like. Uh, it's exclamation mark Discord. You don't have to be such a join, you just can. And we have a poll going for the game we play after this. It's exclamation mark poll and it's gonna be great. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. Be right back.
I'm back. <clears throat> Bagel eaten. I also had some Oreos. <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, big or noob? Thank you for following while I was gone. Hello. And Marie X Bob and oh good lord, eat it up 86. There we go. Thank you guys. Okay. Okay. Um, our friend just got fucking, like, nabbed. So we're gonna go try to save- Ooh, what's my health? Even though she's, um... Kind of fucked up. We're gonna go try to help her. Sulfur? her? Whatever. I think there's a chest I missed, but it doesn't matter. Our friend. Our- I mean, we don't have any other friends. Ellie! Whoa! Jeez. Rain. Let's hope we can do this. I wonder if she's gonna be dead and I have to revive her. Oh! Ellie, are you alright? Darn, she's unconscious. I think I do! No. One? Oh my god. Rancor dragon? One. Two. Three? I learned it. It's better than zero. This fucker's gonna eat me. Why aren't you doing anything? for you. Here, you can use this. Are you kidding me? I don't want to get in that thing again. I'm going to kill everybody. Hey, hold on a second. To tell me I can use it is one thing. New <sighs> Ellie! Damn it! Doc, I have a favor to ask. I will defeat this monster. But if it looks like I'll go out of control like last time, then shoot me! Faye, let us pray that that won't happen. I like this character a lot. Faye is great. Oh god. Alright, I guess we're- <laughs> I'm gonna fight a dinosaur as a mech then! Ether machine? Guided shot didn't do anything. Okay. Oh yeah! 18. Attack level 1. 36. Slow!
can't believe I'm in a mech fighting a dragon. This is a very weird game. Wait. Wait! Wait, 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 wait! That's a mech? Hold on. I had a combo. Get up. This slow is stupid. I get to do two. Uh huh? It fell onto her. It squashed her. Oh, shit. Sorry, Ellie. Oh, she's fine. Faye, are you all right? Yeah, I guess so. That fight with the rain car was remarkable. An ordinary gear could not defeat that monster, and you certainly kept your keep yourself in good shape. Why did you bring this here, Doc? This? Oh, you mean... Well, Tom? Tall. This is the gear that destroyed our village. Why did you bother bringing it here? I never want to see another gear again. I understand how you must feel, but in order to protect yourself, you need a certain degree of strength. Even more, since we're being pursued. I agree that a certain degree of strength is needed for self-defense. And if it weren't for this gear here, Ellie and I'd be in that rank our stomach right now, but its power goes beyond what is necessary. Does one really need the power to destroy everything? I don't need that kind of power. I just hate gears. Faye, using power or being used by power? Is that not a problem of the heart? No. If humans do not use their power for wrong, it can be a good thing. I believe such power can help us. In that respect, I know you will be fine. It sure helped you out this time. Am I right? I want to believe that, but something's holding me back. This gear... Whatever. At least Ellie is safe now. She seems to have come too. <laughs> St stands up. Huh? I am Satan, a friend of Faye's. You almost did not make it. If Faye had not helped you, I hate to think what may have happened. But I was not too pleased with his rashness in trying to take on that rancor with just his bare fists. Bare fists? Well, I am glad that you were able to find a use for what I brought you. Ah! Let us just say that we are borrowing the Kislev army, what the Kislev army left behind. Oh. Thank you, Faye. This makes twice. Don't mention it. I'll just put it on your tab. It is getting dark. Let us make camp now and start out early tomorrow. The both of you look tired, and I need to make some repairs on our friend here. You have bare fists? I wish. If I turned the brightness up so much, imagine what we'd be able to see if I hadn't. It is no use. The knee actuator and bypass circuit are both ruined. The actuator can be fixed, but the circuit needs to be replaced. Oh, having trouble sleeping there? 
Yeah. I imagine you would. You have had quite a day. This is the machine Faye used when the village was attacked. There was another machine left sitting on the outskirts of the village. Kneel there, just like us. Oh, fuck! It was yours, right? Just as I thought. The missing pilot from the gear that made an emergency landing in Lahan. And the mysterious woman found wandering lost in the forest are actually one and the same person. Judging from your uniform, I would also say you're with the military, am I correct? How... Who are you? I checked the ID tags of the soldiers who died in the attack on Lahan. The design of their tags and the design of your uniform there is the same. Do not worry, they were given proper burials. But they may not have been too pleased to die in a foreign land. Maybe. Does Faye know about you? I don't think he realizes... I don't think he's realized yet! This is fucked up! Most likely, Faye knows nothing of the world outside of Lahan. I see. So how come... In any case, it is best if we do not pry into each other's pasts anymore. Is that because she'll know who the fuck you are? But... Let us just say that I know a little more about the world than most do. How fucking sketchy are you, dude? Mm. Anyway, Ellie, I have a favor I must beg you to do. What is it? Go straight ahead and you will come to a road. Then just keep going. Would you please leave us while Faye is still asleep? What the fuck? Unfortunate things keep happening around Faye. I would like to protect him if possible. I do not want him caught up in any vain struggles. I don't trust this guy at all. I'm also saying this for your benefit. Ellie, you do not belong here. Go back to your family. Uh, I... Do not worry, I will not tell Faye what your true identity is. I will just tell him you went to meet up with your family. No, it's not that. I did something terrible to him. So I want to apologize. Something terrible. Faye told me that it was our fault that your village was destroyed. Faye kept saying, if only they hadn't come. Then I called Faye a coward because he was trying to escape from the responsibility. But in fact, it was me who was trying to escape from taking the blame. If I hadn't crash landed there, they would all still be living peacefully now. All those innocent people wouldn't have been caught up in that tragedy, but because... But I accused Faye. You are a rarity. I did not expect your people would ever think like that. Your people. Surface dwellers are nothing more than domesticated animals, are they not? The shepherds able to control over the surface dwelling lives. What the fuck? Possessing the right to give life and death onto them as they see fit. Oh fuck! Is she from space? Okay. Exactly. They do seem to feel responsibility toward Faye and the villagers. Why is that? Uh, I don't know myself. At Duke End, I was taught that surface dwellers were stupid and base. And that is why we have to control them, but... But upon meeting Faye, something about him made you feel differently. He's no different than we are. In fact, he seemed more powerful. He possesses something. Something we don't. He also risked his life to save me twice. Most of your people would feel ashamed at receiving such an act. Yet you were grateful to Faye. It's probably because of my father. He had an open mind to surface dwellers. My nanny was... A surface dweller. No one knew about her, though. Besides, I'm the same as Faye the same. 
No, nothing. Never mind. I think I understand. I am sorry. After just saying we should not cry. It is my nature, you know. My wife says I am too persistent and that I talk too much. But personally, I do not think I talk too much. It is probably best if you return home to your country. You really should not be here. I'll return to headquarters, but then... then you are worried. Yes! Worrying is natural. Even I used to worry once, too, you know. Oh, Satan. Anyway, let me handle what to tell Faye. You had better go now. I gave you a magic rod, don't leave. under the impression because of the intro that the two factions that were fighting against each other were using weird old tech they found to create mechs and continue to fight that they were still living on the planet because they needed to what the fuck whatever I'm just gonna keep playing has Ellie gone yet oh so you were awake Yes, I woke up midway, so I only heard part of what you two were discussing. Hmm. Ellie, so that's where she is. Faye, she is... I know, it's not Ellie's fault. What happened to the village is all my fault. No! Fuck. I took out all my pent-up feelings on Ellie. I'm the one who should apologize. Faye, do not blame yourself. It was not your fault either. You were just trying to protect the village. Thanks, Doc. By the way, how is everyone from the village going? Do not worry. Yui is taking care of them. I told her to leave as soon and take them all to a certain place. They should be safe for a while, so you just worry about yourself now. Okay, Doc. Now, to think that... Oh, to think what we should do next. Are you just going to stay with me? Shall we leave this forest and head for the desert town of Dazil? We may learn what Ave and Kislev are up to. Not to mention getting some parts for Weltal. This is too many names. Okay. What? Wait. Hold on. Unless surface dwellers need something... Whatever. The leader of Ave is not going to sit back and let the other knight's fiasco go unpunished. What? Stop kissing me. Um. But don't we need to take this fucking thing, sir? Ugh. Get in. Ugh. Okay. I'm not a big fan of the camera angle, the way that it's down the way it is. I find it hard to see. Huh? Oh. <gasps> what the fuck is that? I say. I would assume it is an aerial battleship from Ave. An aerial battleship? I've never heard of Ave having anything like that. Of course, it does not come from Ave originally. Most likely, it belongs to the Gevler forces stationed in Ave. Gevler. Special forces from the sacred empire of Solaris, known as Gevler. Solaris is a new one. I'm sure you've heard something about them. They're an organization providing large-scale military aid to the kingdom of Ave. They showed up in Ignis several months ago. Until then, Ave was being routed by Kislev. But with Gevler's help, they have managed to regain half their losses. 
They are now expanding their territory and gathering resources buried in the ruins. I've heard the villagers, the village elders talk about that. Is Ellie part of it? Oh no. Quite possibly so. Their group has superior technology and power. It is rumored they are here solely to get the resources in the ruins. I am surprised they're using something as powerful as that ship. It must be to suppress the recent border skirmishes. Oh, so they're fighting the Kislev Empire. Yes, it seems they have found new ruins on the northern edge of Ave. Those ruins are under a 500-year-old temple. Three weeks ago... Why does he know this?! Three weeks ago, Kislev took over those ruins. Most likely, they're fighting over that. Why do you know this? Fucking turd. You knew there was something wrong with me. He went to school? He's a doctor? That's not how any of this works. Oh, we made it out. Time to save. Fucking Jesus. Did you see squirrels? He has a PhD. <sighs> Crawl in the forest. It's interesting seeing these chapters after I do them. Yeah, I can only tilt the camera. It seems like I can only do camera tilting when I'm out here, but when I was in there, I, like, couldn't get it to do anything. That's weird. It's kind of doing it on its own. Yeah, it's not affecting anything. Yeah, I already tried that. Turn off your brain and trust the doctors. I mean, no! There's a lot of baggage with that. I guess we're leaving it in there. I knew it was gonna get attacked on my mood. We love desserts. We hate desserts. Oh, he's actually fighting with me. That's interesting. Wait, he's faster? Holy shit, he's... Is it like a snap? That was cool. Doctor who can heal, who'd have imagined? Oh, god damn it! Shut up, I didn't know he'd heal with martial arts. He levels up. Oh, what the fuck? He has so much health, he's only level six? I didn't get anything. Wonder if he wants a hat. I have an extra hat. Hey, do you want a hat, bud? I bet your gear is better than mine. No, equip, not gear. Fencing mm -hmm. layer. Fencing cap. I'd rather have you hit. Step shoes. I want to explore everywhere, but it doesn't look like there is anything yet. Oh, do I have to go to the front? Dizil. This is Dazeel. Yes, that is right. The desert town of Dazeel. This game made you want to be a super smart kung fu doctor when you grow up? Oh. This town's lively. This looks like it's right out of fucking Tatooine. 
This is the center for all excavations in Ave. People come from all over Ignis to try to find the resources buried in the ruins around here. We should be able to find out what both Ave and Kislev are up to here. And we also have to gather the things we'll need to repair Wells Hall. I need to write down this gear's name as well as all. Repair Wells Hall. Yes, we must exchange the broken parts to fix Wells Hall. Otherwise, it will not be able to function at all. There is an ethos workshop in the southern part of this town. Let us go there, Faye. Southern part of the town. Yeah, okay, Doc. Let's check this place out then. Hi. Octavia. You little shit. I saw that. I have a box with a PS2 in it. She was trying to steal its cable. This song was the source of one of your favorite OC remix tracks. Ooh. Hey, I haven't seen you around here before. Don't think that if you cause trouble, you'll get away with it. Wear Ave Army Guards, remember that. Okay. Yeah, I can't change the, um, the angle of the camera. I can only change the rotation. This is the Ave Guard Station. This town is important because it's the base for excavating the ruins. The elite of our army are stationed here. Whistling it now. Get your bongo toes out. I'm gonna turn it up in my ears. I have a controller for volume here. You ever wonder why I go like this sometimes? <gasps> How goes the spacey robots in space with robots? Hey, Lee. Something happened and I can't tell you what it is because you haven't beaten the game you're playing yet. So... Hey, I love you! Thank you for the bits! The Kislev army is up to something in the land north of here. But don't worry, if anything happens, Ge Gebler will, be will back us up. That's not good. I'll bail. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I mean... Just... Thank you. Beat your game. And then you have to play this one. Anyway, Ledipus is currently playing Chrono Cross. Please, not a single word about that game in here. For now, please. The <laughs> what? Zex? Zex, thank you so much for gifting us up to uh, Martile Pyoff. <laughs> I'm sorry if I said your name wrong again. Thank you very much, Zex. It's very sweet. Thank you. This is the Ave Army's Dazzle Guard Station. No civilians allowed. If you have no business here, please leave. What? Leave? Guys. <gasps> this is one of your favorite games, Zex. Yay, I'm glad. Thank you. Ladybus, thank you very much for gifting five subs. Thank you. Uh, to Mark PG's Sea Joust. Uh, Castle Hot, Blade of Terror, and Lucery Prime. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes, guys. Oh my god, of course. No, I, I don't want a single Chrono Cross mention or about what happened in here. Be good. <laughs> this town is the center of all gear excavating in Ave. They take the generators out of excavated gear to make new models. Protecting this town is essential to beating Kislev. I left my family at home to come here. I want to finish my duty here and go home. So they get the... That's interesting. Are we throwing money again? No, no we're not. We're just saying that we love Ledipus and um, his playthrough of Chrono Cross that's happening. You found this channel during Chrono Cross? That's lovely, Ravel. What the fuck? You don't tell me what to do. Thank you for the 500 B test. That's very sweet. Um, I think this is a camel. Thanks, Liz. 
Soon this area will be totally excavated. We'll have to- it just talks normally. We'll have to find another place of buried treasure. What are you? I came here looking for fortune, but all the good sites are controlled by the military. I'll have to go home a failure. What should I do? I wanted to try my luck at treasure hunting. I'm pretty successful. The reason is I found a good partner. Even now he's looking at a map analyzing our next step. I sure depend on my pal. Come to Dazeel. If you dig in the ruins, you too can be rich. Treasure Hunter Association. Hmm. Okay. Who says it talks normally? You could have him... <laughs> oh, it could be like the cow people. Yeah, I guess so. Can't have space without aliens. Whoa! Dub Huds! Thank you so much for subbing with Prime! Thank you! Jeez! I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you for using that on me. I know you only got one a month. That's super cool. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy your emotes. Oh. I'm in a fix. The generator sensor is broken. It's the only thing that can sense buried gear generators. Without that, I'm... So, what do you want to buy? Oh! Uh, I don't know. It does show. Okay, so it shows what I'm equipped with. I think red means. I don't know what it means. Does that mean I can't wear it? No, red means you can wear it. Up or red is down. Could be like Pokemon where red is up. What? <laughs> Dub Huds, thank you very much for gifting a sub to La Grand Grand. What the fuck? That is very sweet. Thank you so much. That is incredibly kind. Oh, hey, video game boss battle. The game earned a timeout. It did. What terrible puns. Thank you guys. <laughs> They're all way too nice. Red is red and blue is blue. Yeah. Fencing cap is what I'm currently wearing. So I think this is just telling me the stats. So two is down. Two is down. I don't know. We'll figure it out someday. No idea. I know me either. It's fine. Once I find something new, we'll, we'll buy it and we'll just see what happens. Since those Gebler forces came, Ave is hardly ever lost to Kislev. I wish the Ethos would give out some of those new powerful gears. Ethos. What do gears have to do with Ethos? Only the Ethos has the technology to maintain generator-driven gear. The Ethos decides which gear gets which generator in which country. This music's really good. So much of this vibe reminds me of... It's like pieces of... It's pieces of Blue Gender, and it's pieces of, um... Ghosts in the Shell so far. Oh, there's a child in front of me. Oops! <laughs> Hello! There are burglars out there looking for treasure in the desert ruins. Ugh. Oh, I just wet my pants. You better be careful, too. Did you really just fucking wet your pants? You were, like, on my leg. Gross. Do I have a gun? The battle with Kislev the other day in the desert ended in a complete victory for us. We need the army because they get us generators from the gears found in the ruins. We'll never give this town or our ruins to Kislev. Okay. Someone else? Oh yeah, I know about Blue Gender because... This is kind of a funny story. Um, so when I was in late middle school, maybe early high school, um, we got a random 
computer disc in the mail, and it had um, like a Dragon Ball Z figurine preview, and then some other stuff, and it had the first, it had like a commercial for Blue Gender in it. And so we put it in our computer to see what it was. I don't know if it was like a Toonami preview or something, but there was literally like a huge preview for Blue Gender on it, and I remember being like fucking blown away. And so when LimeWare happened, I found a way to watch it. Not for kids! Very good, though. Civilian worker gears have no chance against military worker gears in excavation. What? Civilian worker gears? Okay, so when they meant they determine who gets the gears, there's different types or like grades of gears. Inserting random discs from the mail into your computer at those are innocent time. I mean, you know, that's what you did. Says Mech is totally outside her comfort zone, knows about blue gender. I I guess I never made the connection that blue gender was about mechs. It's more about aliens and bugs, right? Yeah, it has really good character development. I guess I didn't think about it. Hmm. I guess. Hmm, whatever. Even if we had military gear, we wouldn't be able to operate it. Hmm? Haven't met you before. So you want to rent out a sand buggy too? Oh! Sand buggy? A sand buggy is a special type of vehicle designed for the desert terrain. Its tires will not get stuck in the sand. You really need them for long desert trips. Sorry, but all our buggies are lent out now. Do you want to wait for one? Some of those guys hunting for parts should be back soon. I see. Well then, we will come back later. Hmm. That AOL was a, a coaster manufacturer? Wow. That's dark. I used AIM, but I never used the AOL discs. Oh, cool. I keep forgetting I can, like, jump around. I really like this music, though. Alright, let's keep slowly- Who are you? We had Prodigy. Hmm, you look tired. You can stay overnight at the bar, so why don't you rest there a little bit? Traveling all worn and tired might just get you killed. Thanks, dude. Can I climb this? Ooh. Huh? What? What's the point of this? Oh, yeah. Lately, there's rumors of all-out war with Kislev. I'm gonna stock up while there's still just small border skirmishes. What's this? Lucky Avenue, a relaxing bar. Alright, I don't know if I want to sleep just yet, so maybe we shouldn't go there. Rip aim, yeah. Haven't seen Blue Gender, but looking at it doesn't fun to follow the main tropes that this game appears to be referencing. Giant disclaimer if anyone's suddenly deciding to watch Blue Gender. It's got some really fucked up stuff in it. That not everyone would enjoy. Hey, are all the soldiers here to dig up the ruins? I thought they were after the bad kiss sled men. Guess I was wrong. So it's kiss love. Shit, I'm pronouncing it wrong. Blue Gender was 98. <gasps> That's the same year as this game! I'm gonna rewatch it. I'm gonna fucking rewatch it. Lately, the town's become so lively. It's nice to see the children so happy. There's a bunch of thieves out in the desert called Sandmen. You gotta equip yourself properly. This is just Star Wars. If you don't, you only have yourself to blame. Hmm, the prices are a little high, but we need these things to cross the desert. Welcome! Oh! <gasps> God, I really don't have that much money.
Wait, could I have done- Oh, you can like buy in bulk? That's nice. Why are we talking about blue gender? There are things in this game that give me that vibe. <laughs> Removes MMT stones. I don't know what that is. I should buy one. Physical stones. Okay. Restore CP. I have items from outside that do that. Survival tent. If I do this, I literally don't have any money. We're not gonna do that. As much as I want to. Cedo so, you know, Gears is not for kids. Almost parasite levels are not for kids. But if your parents were cool, they let you play it. Yeah, I didn't really get away with any of that. The only game that I got away with being like cool cool for kids, but definitely not for kids, like not appropriate, was Conquers. I've heard ru a rumor that the Kislev, Kislev, the Kislev army attacked a nearby village. Is that true? Yes. I wish I could say that. Lots of adults come to dig up the wounds. Why are there so many Ubus? They all come riding in big years. Sorry, I have to do it. That's how they're talking. Your parents didn't supervise shit, you just rented games that look cool. I never rented games. If I didn't have a game, or a friend didn't have a game, I didn't get to play anything. Like, I didn't play it. That's just how it was. None of my friends rented anything when we were kids. <laughs> hey, long bad. I'm a desert orphan now. My hubby acts so smart with his ruin theories. Why don't we just leave the ruins to the ethos? Alright, what are your theories, weirdo? What? Hello? I wonder who built all those ruins. Some say an ancient civilization which ruled this land long ago built them. But after looking at the results of the geologic tests, I have my doubts. Is that it? What? Get away from me. Let me leave. No! Good. I'm glad you like my uwu commitment. I don't know why, you guys seem to really like that voice sometimes. That's the bar. Hi, who are you? Please, talk to me. What? Okay, fuck me then. Oh wait, can I? Stop. Eh. Haha, hey! Huh? Uh. Shit, I thought I broke it. The army's been sending a lot of guys down here. That was fucking weird. But surely there has to be a more efficient way to excavate those ruins. Hmm. Won the Blockbuster Championship as a kid for free- And you got free game rentals? What? How did you do that? They're doing digging right next to this town, too? Whoa! This is an Ave run excavation site. Holy shit! The machines and gears found here are valuable resources that could turn the tide of the war. They are ind indispensable to the war effort. Anyway, Faye, let us move on. We have more pressing matters to do than taking in the sites. Imagine someone pulling that motherfucker right out from behind your house. God, that was cool! Hey, why are there so many puns in this goddamn game already? Can I go in this door? No. Ah! Ooh! Dell74, thank you for following. Welcome. I don't know why, but I can't hear any of the alerts anymore. Hopefully they're still going off for you guys. Hmm? 
This month's water supply schedule. Oh. This is the waterworks. All of Dazeel's water comes from this pump. That's it? Water is needed for the maintenance of the gears, so our waterworks was also built to provide a steady supply of water to the workshop. Not to the people? Interesting. You heard it? Okay, good. If it's too quiet for you guys, let me know. Because I can turn it up for you, but for some reason I can't get it louder than my, um, my head. Oh! What is... <laughs> I just, like, floated up into the door. The rest of the country has an unusual interest in this area's ruins. Large units have come to excavate all the ruins. Can I read books? I don't think I can read. We're out of gear parts in the warehouse. I'm gonna have to order more from the Ethos headquarters. If requests for repairs keep coming at this pace, we won't be able to keep up. We should ask the Ethos headquarters to expand this workshop. I'll have to ask the Ethos headquarters to send a mechanic that can repair in army gears. This month's goal, don't let the parts into the warehouse run out. Give repair priority to military personnel. Hmm. Volume's fine. Cool. Thank you. Can a human really do more work per unit water ration than a machine can? Can it? <laughs> Imagine them trying to piece together a gear in the same completely wrong way they did for the first fossils. Oh my god, you're right. Like the first dinosaurs. That'd be so fucking funny. I would love to see that. Just put it right upside down. The area around this town has the highest concentration of ruins on the southern part of the continent of Ignis. Ave and Kislev have been fighting over these ruins forever. I'm old now. I just want to live in peace. Oh dear, the water stopped again. The workshop must be using it right now. Aha! Okay, so yeah, they, they completely took priority away, away from the people. Lately, Grandpa's been in a blue and gum mood. Cute. <laughs> Poor kids. I think it was supposed to be blue and glum. Who are you? Big profits for little work. That's the best way to make money. That's the knack. We make our money selling the parts we excavate to the ethos. The rarer the parts, the better the price. Dig it? Phew. This game has got to stop punning at me. Bobblegum. Bobblegum! Oh, a save. I've got to improve the performance of my gear with the parts I've brought here. Even if it's only a little bit. I hear there are parts for your gear that increase its performance and abilities incredibly just by equipping them on it. I wonder if they have any such parts here. Somehow I doubt it. Sorry, my parts supplies are low, so I can't sell anything to civilians. I guess I should save. Hey, Bob, I think the arm is supposed to go here. repeat all the puns now I refuse I need a new memory card I need a new reliable memory card I don't want to delete any of my precious saves for many of the games we played some of them I've deleted but none of the ones in here I I can stand to get rid of now they're all too important this looks fancy oops I should have read that sign this music's awesome literally dancing in your chair Ooh, thingies. Wow, so this is the Ethos Workshop, eh, Doc? Yes, the Ethos Workshops are the only places that officially repair gears. Let us see if we can get the parts we need to fix Welltall here. As they say, time is money, so we should do whatever we can do as soon as we're able to. Phrasing. Huh? How can we help you? Sorry to bother you. Our gear has broken down, so I would like to buy some parts to fix it. Tough luck, huh? 
Uh, can you tell me what make of parts you're after? Yes, we're hoping to replace an X-29. X-29 model injected injection bypass circuit. X-29 model injection circuit. That's only used on the latest military models. We don't keep those kinds of parts in stock here. You can only get such special parts by placing an order at the Ethos headquarters. This workshop's only for the repair of civilian gears. I see. Sorry to have bothered you. Yeah, sorry we can't help you. Please don't touch it. It's being repaired. I'm sorry. <gasps> Ooh! Sure I can't touch it? Oh, there's actual people down there. Can I jump? I want to... Stop fucking around. That was neat, though. The anime portraits and 2D assets are so damn good. Oh my god, they really are. Doc, do you have a moment? I need to talk to you. Yes, of course, Faye. So, Faye, what did you want to talk to me about? Well, Doc, it's about Welltall. We can't find the parts we need, so is it alright if we just don't fix it? Do not repair it. What is the problem, Faye? No. We've been able to come as far as Dazeel on our own. Doesn't that show that we don't need Welltall as much as we thought? Actually, I've been thinking about... I've been thinking that once things cool down, I want to go back to Lahan and help rebuild. They're not going to let you go back, dude. That's all I feel I can do now. I see. If that is what you want, Faye, then fine. But I think we should try and move Welltall as far away from there as possible. Move it away? Well, why do we need to do that, Doc? It is only my speculation, but I suspect the incident that that evening occurred because the Gebler Special Force stole a Kislev military gear. Force. You mean Ellie's crew? Exactly. When I examined the broken gear in the village, I realized the Gebler pilot was riding a Kislev gear. It must have some new technology involved in it for the Kislev army to send pursuit forces after it. New technology? I suspect that the Gebler force was out to steal a new experimental gear. I'm sure news of the Special Forces' failure has reached the capital. They will be investigating the Lahan area to reclaim whatever parts of the new gear that they can find. Hold on, Doc. Won't the Kislev army still be in Lahan, too? Most probably. And in that case, there will be a conflict between Ave's inspection team and Kislev's pursuit troops. If they find where we have hidden well tall, the armies will fight over who gets Waltall, and right near Lahan, too. So, to avoid any problems, we should move Waltall else elsewhere right away. Fuck! That makes sense. That makes sense. But it feels like... Huh. You basically went to a car shop to ask them to fix your tank. Why don't we just give it to someone? Why don't we just tell them where it is so they don't fight? No, because we have to move it further away, because then they'll just fight immediately right there. Fuck. But we can't fix it in order to move it. Right, but staying here will solve nothing. Fortunately, this is the center of all excavation work in this country. There is bound to be some information on where we can find parts. Anyway, the fear is often worse than the danger itself. We should not let such fears hold us back. Oh my god, okay. We're going to the... Is this the bar? This is the bar. Yeah, we we burned that bridge. Ooh, we did it. Who'd have thought it? Didn't go... Ooh, sneaking in at night? Followed the... Wait. It sure is a noisy place. Well, in a place like this, you have to expect this kind of atmosphere. Yeah, but even so... He's such like a little kid. I'm terrified about... Whoa! What our memories are! Shut up! <laughs> You're terrifying. He looks like Hugo. Whatever. Why are y'all yapping when Big Joe is here trying to drink in peace? Can't y'all shut up? <laughs> oh, 
Who do you think you are? I don't care if you're Big Joe or Big Schmo. You don't mess with me. <laughs> yeah, you sure talk big. Can you dig for treasure as good as you talk? Does he have a star on his face? What's that you say? You're so tough. Always looking for junk lying around. Why don't you do something more productive for once? If you ask me, you're a big... Whoa! Hey, stop it! This guy's trouble. He's looking wild. Ah, shut up. Just shut your trap. <laughs> That's right. Run home to mama, little boys. <laughs> Damn you. You'll keep... Ha! <sighs> Cowardly little punks. He's got, like, a clown thing. Why, this man sure likes to make his presence felt. I don't want to talk to him. Menu. Ledovic beer. Olive, ale, ale. Ave ale, I can't fucking read. Hob jerky and cheese plate. Oh, I have hob jerky. This guy's gonna, oh, there's stairs. This guy's gonna kick my ass. <laughs> you drinking too? Booze is my life companion, especially in a sucky world like this. Everyone's searching for dough and dynamite. Ha! <laughs> How unromantic. Uh, me? What am I doing here? Whatever I please, I guess. You think you know about yourself? I could introduce myself right now and by tomorrow I'll be a different person. If you didn't understand that, I'll repeat. <laughs> Don't cow your chickens before they hatch. What do you have to say? <laughs> You're just drinking too? Booze is my- okay, yeah. <laughs> Alright, big man. I guess I'm gonna write down your name? Big Joe. Let's do a sweet good in style. If someone's got a name in a portrait, we write him down. Uh, hey. Ten golden night, wanna stay? Yeah. Well, that was interesting. I wonder if he'll be different. Reminds you of Birdie? Yeah, like Birdie or Hugo or something. <laughs> Just some big guy with foofy hair. Big JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you guys like my shitty hiccups. Everybody, Rain got mad at me because every time someone yawned, it was doing a real yawn. And he was like, you have to stop that because you're making me yawn. <laughs> ah, those ethos fools. Just because they can fix gears, they think they can act all high and mighty. How do they expect us to pay so much? I told him not to drown his sorrows, but he wouldn't listen, would he? I stayed up here. This isn't... I guess it was only ten. Sleepy rain. Collecting 108 space robots? Oh, they'd be fucking... You have to admit, that sounds really cool. I think it's cool. Did I miss Dell74 following? I'm sorry if I've missed your follow. Hello! I'm distracted. <laughs> Welcome! Would you be interested in a full resolution artwork of Big Joe's portrait? Uh, not yet. Maybe eventually. Thank you for asking. <gasps> Workshop admin. Is this where we need to go? This is where they do order stuff from Ethos. So maybe some of them can help us. We're out of gear parts for the warehouse. No, they don't have anything. They're supposed to be ordering stuff, but they can't even get it for themselves. So how would they help us? Hmm. We went in there. Uh oh, did I just go outside? I think I did. Oops. Can't get back in there. <gasps> hey, Arjun! How's the gameplay? Fucking really cool. Like, like incredibly impressively good. Ooh, cacti. Oh, this is another side. Is, no, it's not. Is it? I just didn't look that way. 
There's a story floating around that the Kislev army is looking for buried gear. Be careful if you go digging in the ruins. Never played this before. Is this a Middle East themed area? It seems like it. It's like a desert where people are, um, can I jump up here? Where people are excavating giant mecha robots and then using the technology of that to like fight each other. But this is where they like dig up the, the shit. Oh, what? What is this? I keep having things directly in the middle of the camera. Rain has not played this, no. This is a sand buggy. That is it, Faye. I have thought of a good way to get the parts we need for that- Oh, for Welltall! Let us go back to the rental shop and rent out this buggy. Wait, what do you intend on doing, dog? Well, leave it to me. Just as you- Just you wait and see! Seems like a place where Jawas would look for droids. Yes. Okay, let's go rent a buggy. Uh, it was one of the first places we went. It was this place. The sand buggy we're waiting for is back. Do you want to rent it? Yes, that is right. Do you have any we can rent right now? Uh, of course, the keys are in the ignition. You can take it now. Well then, if I may. Faye, I'm going into the desert to search for parts for Welltall. What? Going to the desert? Doc, are you going to excavate some ruins or something? The Kislev and Ave armies are confronting each other in the desert all the time. There is talk that their forces often break into battle over the ruins. Wait, what does that have to do with the gear? Unless... Hmm. Looks very Star Wars. Yeah! It's like, um... It's like Tatooine. Have I played Breath of Fire 4? No, I've only played 1 and 2. If I search the battlefield for the wrecks of such army gear, I should be able to find the parts we need. Besides, Welltall is a Kislev gear, so we'll need parts from Kislev. But... Faye, you are such a warrior. Things have a way of working out. You do not need to worry so much. Why not go kill some time in the bar until I get back? What? Doc? God damn it. Hey, are you letting him go out there alone? Lots of fights break out in the desert. It's a real dangerous place. I've heard about a group of pirates riding around attacking people on a sand cruiser. You really shouldn't let him go out there by himself. I I want to I want to I want to be a sand pirate. The background vocals. <laughs> it's like a Saint Kong Gaga. He's fucking gone. Wait, what are you? Hmm, you look tired. What the fuck? It's like a mole person. Or a coconut man. Or a seal? Alright, I guess we're going back to the bar. You're so useless, Fago. Kick it with Big Joe while I get crap done. What's another moleman? Heh <laughs> this is great, ain't it? I just live for that first drink after work. I don't know what that is. Oops, no. I want to talk to Big Joe. Where's your friend? There's a war on the, in the desert, and he just goes wandering off there. If your friends are important to you, then don't let him get away. Especially if it's a lady friend. <laughs> Stop talking to me. I need to leave, and I don't have a lady friend. Fuck you. She's dead. Was the new game already added to the poll? No, it wasn't. Nothing has been added yet. Um, because I didn't... Oh, I just realized, Austin, you had me hydrate like two hours ago. Ha, ah, I'm doing it. Yeah, this is water, not juice. Hi, FEM. I think it's still... yeah. Um, but the most recent poll, the one that's available now through exclamation mark poll, that one has Star Control 2 on it, and that was D. Holmes doing Redemption. Maybe I should go out and find him. 
He told me to stay in the bar, though. Maybe I should rest? I'm worried he'll die. I don't want him to die, obviously. We could go outside and we could die. Aussie oh, Armis, I hope you have a lovely night. Should have planned. Yeah, you should have planned. Well, I should have done it earlier. That's. I don't know where he could have gone. Do you think we'll die? We could save and then wander out in the desert and see if we die. I don't see any harm in that. Worst case scenario, we load back here and then rest at the end like we were supposed to. Remember idling the map just to hear this song? Aww. That's how I felt about um, Legend of Dragoons music. Just hang out in the overworld for all the different discs to listen to everything. I'm gonna get murdered out here. Excuse me? Um... Do we own that video game ring? I guess I'm gonna write this down. Rain uh, has added Halo to the next poll. Can't believe this has happened. Well, I didn't know we had that game or that it was included. But I guess Halo is going to be in the next fall. To make it real hard. change your boat. Oh, it doesn't <laughs> It doesn't go on this pole. It goes on the next one. So the next pole is going to have Halo on it. Okay. What the hell was I doing in this game? I don't know what's happening now. He literally opened his door and laughed into the hallway to so make sure you guys could hear it. So that was interesting. Rain says yes, but he really means is yes, lol. <sighs> Gonna have to be some strong games to go against Halo. Fuck. Legitimately, I didn't think we owned Halo. What am I doing? I shouldn't be out in this desert. I'm gonna go back to town and sleep. Game? not I did the right thing possibly or am I about to be stepped on what are they are they Ave gears I'm worried about Doc guess I may as well follow those gears what uh oh oh my god never mind we did the right thing I guess oh I didn't buy. Did I buy healing? Whatever. Well, I'm all alone. I should have gotten Big Joe to come with me. I bet he was supposed to, and I just fucked it up. Also, I know we turned the brightness super high, but I, I really do think it looks better now, even though we're not in a super dark desert. 
If I knew that he was going to add something, I would have tried to be more stealthy about unlocking it. Can we change the voting to rank choice? Nope. Oh! I prefer making people choose one that they like the most. I want it to be a hard decision. Eight? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're Tuscan readers. I'm trying to figure out new combos and stuff. They're like gently hitting me with sand. Makes Tuscan Raiders sounds. That's what they sound like. Maybe with less M sounds. You joined Team Star Control 2 now that you know it exists? Oh no! Uh. I use a heal. That hurt. That was a lot of little dudes. At least I have tons of hob jerky. They went over... Oh, I guess I can't climb this. Huh? It's so... open. Everyone in Discord is making Star Control 2 sound really good. Hmm. Are they? He shot me. I love that he just like... <laughs> He's like a beanbag man. That's gotta be really good for the boss fights. I killed him. Okay. I have to check my um, death blows again. It's definitely the correct game to vote for. StarCraft 2 isn't retro yet. I've never played any StarCraft D style games. The closest I ever got was a weird Final Fantasy thing. Oh, I actually have money now. Um, okay, how do I see this? Skills. Okay, so I got to 100 on Senmetsu, but I can't use it yet. And that's fun. Because I'm probably not a high enough level. 
And then hog gun. I just haven't gone yet. Okay. Hello? Bad guys? Friend? Oh, what have I done? You can't put me to fight off screen! What I want is an AoE skill. But I only have guided shot. Can you take the glove This is so much damage! RTS doesn't seem like a good fit for the stream. Yeah, I I've never played one, so I would probably have a bad time with it. Then again, I had never played a strategy type game either, and then I ended up fucking loving it. Especially when we did, um, Tactic Number. The combat of that felt so fun, because I understood it from Tactics. Final Fantasy Tactics. You are okay with not playing Blizzard games on stream? Oh, ooh, that's right, it was Blizzard. Well, that's sad. Battletoads would be a good- <gasps> I don't even think we own Battletoads. Maybe we do. We might. I don't want to own Battletoads. Take it away. I leveled up again? <gasps> I learned it! Ooh, wait, inner healing? What is... DK64 would be a really good fit. You have to get rain to not veto it. Leave the desert? No. I can't see where I am. Oh no. Oh, there I am. Battle says is in your list. Shh. That means we own it. All right. I just got triangle, triangle, eggs. Okay. Inner healing. <gasps> I can use it outside of battle. Do it. Sure. All right. Where's my stupid friend? What? No! Our mission is to find a game worse than DK64 to get rain to veto that. Yeah, I guess you could do that. <laughs> do it. Do it. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, that felt a little bit like overkill, but I'll take it. Ow, he shot me with a gun. I'm allowed to beat him up that much. The obvious choice is ET. Guys, I don't want to. Superman 64, we don't have that. But I have Captain America and the Avengers, which I've showed you guys before. It's awful. Okay, I see. I'm definitely gonna be able to do some crazy combos once I get like really strong. So that's why I couldn't do that one before. I didn't have enough bars to do it with my energy and whatever. Harvester's on- you really hope Harvester's on the October wheel? The only more spooky than Harvester would be to replay Harvester. No. We're not playing it again. You want to no nominate Okami? Oh, Okami hasn't been on a poll in a while. That's a good idea. I feel very stupid. Maybe we should just leave. What do you have against Battletoads? I thought you liked Amphibian. Let's just put it this way. I've heard enough about Battletoads over my 30-something years of being alive that would make me never want to play it. Why do I always have a 16 health? I 
Halloween almost added. We actually talked a lot about the Halloween games last night because we're making sure that we not only had enough, but like had some variation in there so it isn't me just like crying for a whole month because because I'm too scared to like exist. Um, it was a meme task if stores had it. Yes, that's true, actually. Um, a bunch of our friends used to work at GameStop. And, um, they used to call, <laughs> the stores used to call each other asking for Battletoads. Mm. It's a fun though, this doesn't take anything. Remember GameStop? Uh -huh. Sure do. Let it die. Let it, let it die. I'm fine with it perishing. I missed. Remember Blockbuster? I do. I didn't use it for games though. I use it for movies. This is what I get for doing heavy moves first. You worked at Blockbuster in 2007? Good there then. Yeah, I had a, I had a friend who worked there. I actually really liked it though. I don't know why. You used to work at Blockbuster too? You were also a former million of, of Blockbuster? Wow. Yeah, when all when everybody was working at Blockbuster and GameStop, I was working in high school instead of working in one of those places I worked at a friend's restaurant. Oh. Wait, what? Okay, I made a little bit of progress, I guess. Did I? It changed slightly. I used to rent so many N64 games for Blockbuster. Man. Renting games must have been wild. You only play JRPGs and you don't want to... Oh, I don't blame you. It was never even something that I considered. Oh, my accuracy is down. Accuracy down, I just Get punch. Pretty sure you rented Lost Spiking 2 from Black Oh, I need to play the first Lost Spiking so. The puzzliness seems really interesting. Renting a JRPG feels silly unless you have like four days straight to play it. I could see it for maybe if you had like a couple days off from school or something. How the fuck am I supposed to find my way through here? Oh, hello. Oh, it all looks exactly the same. If I was this other dude and I saw this kid like jump out of the desert and beat the shit out of my friend and he died, I would run away. Yeah, Lee. Lost Vikings was the first game that I saw you stream. Over a year and something ago. And I remember thinking, man, he seems really mad at this game. <laughs> I can't change the angle. I spent over 100 hours on this game. Holy shit! That's a lot of hours. In all of the early Pokemon games, I spent about 200 hours in them. But until I was an adult, well, I don't know how long I spent in Conquerors because. That was a weird red text. I have no, like, there was no way to tell. So I don't, I don't know. You know what's a lot of hours? 10,000? I guess that's true. This is your second favorite RPG of all time. Chrono Trigger is one Number one? Hey, that's good taste, I think. I enjoyed this so far, even though we've only been playing it for, what, five hours? It looks like I don't get money from 
monsters, but I get them from humanoid enemies, which is very interesting. Is this the right way? <laughs> Maybe I should have picked a direction and just run. Oh. Did I know that ranked choice voting could eliminate a, eliminate a lot of the problems in American politics? Uh, I think it takes a lot more than that. It would be a nice thing to help. <laughs> and it certainly isn't going to help the stream. <laughs> You're gonna be posting new <gasps> Chrono, Chrono Cross art piece today. Not 100% happy with it, but I think it's going to do it so far. I, I would love to look at that. This... it... Uh, this is definitely the first... In the I'm gonna keep going as straight as possible. I'm getting too strong for these guys to kill. Me. Or for them to even be able to fight back. Which I guess is fine. You're 10 hours into your Xeno Gears playthrough? Oh, it's your first one too? Good! We're just gonna go straight. I wonder if it's a number of screens I need to travel. Wait. How far is Doc gone? And now I've lost sight of the gears too. Oh wait, it was, I think it was a number of screens. What's happening? Was it that big fucking ship? Just one little idiot out of what? Ooh, what the heck is that thing? different unit. Are they going toward the direction the saucer went? I'd better follow them so as not to lose sight of them. <laughs> that was bad English, but okay. Oh, I see. I need to go toward the, like, smoke chunky. Am I being attacked off screen again? <laughs> Fuck you, game! All he does! Oh, welcome, Sunglass Ultra. Yes, this is... I'm playing the whole game and I've never done it before and I don't know what I'm doing, so we're... <laughs> we're just working our way through. <laughs> Game's Ooh, throw a fucking gun at me. Game gives me so much nostalgia trips. I would love to stay, but I gotta go to bed. No worries, Monk and Punk. I know you're in a very different time zone. I hope you have a good sleep. And don't worry, the gods are always here. You never have to worry about here. Whatever time. <laughs> good, I'm glad so. I leveled up again. I feel like I'm not supposed to be leveling up this much. Going the direction of the sausage link. <laughs> Where the fuck am I? Oh, I was literally in the screen transition. Okay. The camera moving counts as physical movement for me to get attacked. That's fucking bonkers. Okay. I'm not gonna mess around with this. One of the best RPGs, JRPGs for the PS1. That's what people keep saying. That's why I try so hard to find a copy of this thing. We're actually got a pretty good deal, and it looks really good. Like, the version we got is pretty nice. There are a couple little scratches 
on this disc, so I'm kind of nervous, but so far we haven't had any issues. That was terrible. Ooh. It's crazy how unknown this game is. It's weird because when I was playing Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross, people were like losing their minds. They were like, hey, if the music is affecting you this much, get Xenogears. You have to play Xenogears. Like, it's the game. You'll love it. And so we spent a lot of time trying to find a good copy. I'm really glad we did too. This is already incredible. I'm going to right we haven't found a bug? Shh! Don't you fucking jinx me! Actually... I just hit the wrong button. Um, Rain and I have been playing Psychonauts 2 uh, off stream. And, um... Got myself lodged between a sign and couldn't get out for like five minutes. So it fucking happened again. That's what I get, I guess. Why did I do that? I'm gonna play Legend of Dragoon. I did play Legend of Dragoon. It was fucking incredible. I loved it. But now I'm like desperate for more some more something in that universe. I'm not gonna get it. It just is for me. Shit. Sorry. I just tapped my mic with my. I had to lower it because the text was too big and I bonked it with my controller. Yeah, I played Legend of Dragoon. Uh, there are VODs if you want to check them out. I, uh, I save highlights of everything. They're in collections and stuff, too. Xeno Gears? Eew. That's, you know what? Forget it. Sheesh. Thank you, Razo. Oh my god, it's getting dark! Does this desert ever end? I don't get dark soon, so I better hurry up and... Oh, are this the same guys? can't tell. You thought your guitar fell over? Sorry, that was me. I didn't mean to. What's going on here? Gears? A flying saucer? Now these guys. I hope Doc's alright. Mm. Yeah! Hmm? Whoa! Why did he do that? Are you stealing that? Uh, sorry about that. Just let me borrow this for a while. No fucking way. That guy's gonna die out here. Do we know how to ride a- no. Yay, wait! I'm sorry! We should have put the deep surround sound setting on. It's Grand Up Auto now? I feel pretty bad. I've never seen Mad Max either. Don't judge me. Whoa! <gasps> what the fuck? Oh. Uh-oh. Hi. It's just me, a, a human. Wait, that, that'll, that's worse. They'll kill me. I'm one of you. I fell out of my mech. What's with you guys? Are you overreacting a little for just stealing a motorcycle? Ah! <gasps> Wait, isn't that art horrible man? Wait. How did How do you know how to pilot that? Faye, I was looking everywhere for you. <laughs> Sorry. Doc, you're all right! Yes, of course. Hmm? Looks like we do not have time to chat. Fuck. Okay. Faye, hurry. Hurry and do what? I cannot use Walt Hall very well. Only you can use its full potential. Okay, that's what I thought. Hurry up and get on board. What about you? Uh, uh, all right. Hope we don't fucking kill everyone again. Okay. Special options? None. Okay. This is all attack level. Hmm. Machine. Okay. 
Okay. Oh my he Oh wait, those are over here too. Oh boy, here we go killing again. Not on purpose! Thanks, Russ. Well I can heal myself, that's nice. I want a gun! Let me stick... Extra AR. I hope I can figure out what that is. The manual is spoilerific. Oh, it's a minefield. Okay, thank you. I won't look at it then. I don't know how, but I beat them. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, what the? Hello? That's not the drunk guy, is it? That's the only person. Guardian. Um, your hot blooded desire for battle has not been tamed, I see. Man in black. It's not very helpful. <laughs> it's Caius. Who are you? <laughs> right. I know you. You killed. No. It wasn't. Not me. I... You coward. It was you. You're the one from Lahan. Again. My name is Graf, the Seeker of Power. You certainly showed how much power you had back there in the Han, didn't you, Faye? Well, well, well. Looks like you're about to meet your doom. And so early in the game, too. Huh. Thank you, Rosalind. Fucking joy. It's Graf and Belser. <clears throat> How much power I have? What are you talking about? A greater power is what I need to fulfill my mission. All right, I have to write down. He's not made of lights. Wrath. Look, look at this fuck. I hate you. Why? This is very serious. I sent those gears into that land as a catalyst to awaken the power in you. To make contact with you. As a catalyst? You mean you caused that intentionally? That's right. The death of your loved ones, and you powerless against it happening. The grief, the screams from your heart, born out of the tragedy. There! That was the catalyst for triggering your power. You mean you attacked my village just to get me in that gear? Why? 
Why did the villagers have to die? Who cares why? It does not matter how many of them died. They were wretched vermin, only living from day to day without ever fulfilling their prescribed destinies. And have you forgotten? You were the one who destroyed the village. I did not lift a finger. No! I was just trying to save the village and its people! I never intended to destroy it! Is that really so? Surely you have heard it. It is the very essence of you, the voice of desire from within you that craves destruction. Shut up! Even if it were true, aren't you still the one who caused it? If you hadn't come, the village wouldn't have suffered the way it did. Ah, so now you resort to blame. I see. That sounds like something you would say. That's good. Your basic nature remains unchanged. Crap. You said you need my power. What, what were you intending to do with it? You know very well. It is to destroy... Mother God? D destroy God? JRPG. Yes! We will destroy God. That is our purpose. That is our destiny. Don't be ridiculous. I won't get involved in such a thing. If you want to destroy your god or whatever it is you're talking about, do it by yourself. <laughs> you resemble your father. My father? You, my dad? You know my father? That was a most delightful scream. My father? You mean my dad? You mean my dad? That is a little weird, yeah? Thanks. I was enthralled by it. Nothing is more beautiful than a scream of death. What did you do to my father? What happened between you two? Hmm. Do you really wish to know? There's no use in you knowing it now. What? Your power is still beneath that needed for my purposes. Anything unusable must be tried until it becomes suitable. What? Hello. What the hell is that? What will you do, Faye? If you die here, then so be it. You may indeed gain some happiness from knowing. From not knowing? But surely, that is not what you truly want. If you want to know the truth, and that is what you want, isn't it, Faye? Then this is what to do. You must show me that you have attained the level of strength that I require. To do that, you must destroy others by using your own strength. Then you will gain all that was lost in exchange for that scream of death. <laughs> Wait, we're not finished talking yet. Okay, I guess the worm says we are. Slurp, absorb fuel. My fuel! Ow. Ow! Let's try guided shot. Oh, this looks different, isn't it? Okay, that does damage. It's gonna keep eating my fuel. It gets multiple attacks? It's Tremors Monster? It's that or it's a Doom Same one. That's going surround sound the music. This guy is a real sucker. Thanks. Ow! He actually hit me. 
Special options yet? No. I kind of want to try to run away, but I don't think I can. And I'm afraid to waste a turn. Oh, I got it, I guess. That's so awful. Yes, I love it. Got its eyeball. Sandra's gonna kill me. Faye, are you all right? Faye, I'm fine. The gear seems to be broken, though. I'm so glad that you are unharmed. The gear has on had only temporary repairs made of it. They were not made to survive an outright battle like that. Faye? Don't oh, shit! Hi! Oh, we're going to jail. Worms don't have eyes? Whose eye is it then? <laughs> it was- oh my god, it is- it was a sad elephant noise. Oh no, the Ave military, not now. Faye, I think we should remain calm. Uh huh? Faye? Faye? <laughs> yeah, not that calm. Oh crap. Well... Joy together. I never thought we'd meet again like this. It must be fate. Let's see my dad. Ironic. But I'll never. Even if it kills me. This fucking game is like the perfect combination of shit that teen me would have lost my fucking mind over. <laughs> I'm like freaking out. This game is so cool. Like, I am so surprised that I didn't know about this game in high school because it's totally the type of place where like, like with Final Fantasy VII, I like tried to download fucking video clips off of websites using goddamn dial up. You know what I mean? It, this is, this is wild. We all did it, teens. That's why we're still raving about it. You have no idea, Sully, the beginning. Ugh! On real player, yes. Fuck, dude. Yeah, because it was before VLC came out and you can play fucking anything. 
How are you feeling, Faye? Did you sleep well? No! I mean, huh? Uh, sort of. Sorry, I messed up. I was careless. That gear is a top-secret experimental model from Kislev. It was only natural that Ave would also be madly searching for it. Faye, are you hurt? You do not look so well. Oh, well, I suppose you could say I was her. That man in black spoke of your father's fate. Is that what is wrong? There's that too, but... It's the other stuff he said. What happened at Lahan was all planned to get me to ride in that gear, or so he claimed. That's got me worried. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> it's like a mix of because it's hot and because I'm like playing this, I think. Oh, th thank you, Cracktoon. Thank you for saying that. Sweaty? No, I'm like actually sweating. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta turn my fan on. It's been really hot here again. To get you to ride in that gear. Doc, before the village was destroyed, I lived without doubting myself. But it's different now. I don't... I don't know who I am. I've never felt like this before. This fucking... Tinkling music sounds like Blade Runner. Which is one of my favorite soundtracks of all time. <clears throat> well, we cannot do anything as long as we're prisoners, even if we wanted to. Let us rest a little. Maybe it will sort your feelings out a little. No, let's talk more. Are you worried about your father? All I know is what the maids at my home in Lahan told me. One night a strange masked man carried me to Lahan. I was heavily wounded at the time. Wait, if it was masked, what if it was this guy? Fuck. <laughs> my father, you mean my dad? Damn it. In my delirium, I called out for my father. That's all they could tell me about my background. I don't remember anything of my father or my past, so I guess I'm not really all that lonely or sad. No! Doc, why didn't I notice that I had no memories up until now? Keep talking to me! He won't talk to me! Please? Try a couple more times. Why won't you answer? Shit. But thou must. Good idea. It was him. No mistake. That was no coincidence. Could it be that we were approaching the time of the gospel? Bitch. Tell me what you know. What the fuck? Yes, the gospel. What is that? We are the people expelled from paradise and forced to live on the cruel surface of the earth. We who fill this land will once again return to the presence of God in paradise and live there eternally. That's what? 
That is the time of the gospel. That time is at hand. We, the gazelle, must find God's resting place by then and resurrect him? Okay, 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 okay. Emperor... The gazelle... Find... God? That is our final prayer. Our final prayer. Those are my paintings? That, those are my paintings! Our final prayer to escape from the fate that was determined by our genesis. Jawa's gonna save us. Bingo. Just as the report said, an Ave transport. And look at what we have on top. No mistaking it, that's a new Kiss Love model. It has to be the stolen gear everyone is after. Whatever the case, there's no way we're going to let that Shakan guy have it. Gunner. Turret A Anton and turret B Belts Belza can initiate their ectrop ectropometers 20 seconds after opening their hatches. Franz. I don't hear anything other than the flowing sound of the sand. No suspicious radar activities detected. Marseille. Matria's units are on standby at the catapults. I think these are the sand pirates. They'll all be able to launch one minute after we resurface. Good, let's do it. Battlecon level one! It's not Battlecon, it's a Batcon. That's my fault. Service combat ready. Torpedo room ready. Anti-gear guns ready. Navigation and engineering are also ready. Who's this? Uh, young master, what is happening? W what was the alarm all about? Who the fuck are you? Wait, why does everyone have a goddamn eye patch? Again, young master, hold on a second. Battle stations, everyone. Surface navigation. Begin operating the sand pump. Prepare to fire starboard cannons upon surfacing. Young master. Young master. Trim to the right. The wind is strong up there and we may be blown off balance. Jericho, hand the helm over to me. Why does everyone have an eye patch? Do you think they're fake? <laughs> Look, oh, what is that? the odds two people have it's a sand submarine gimme a sand fine whatever you could have called it a sand sub it must be those desert pirates I mean the back of the thing did say royal pirates Royal Pirates. Huh? Whoa. Oh, right, they're shooting us. Oh, no. Don't free us. Oh, wait. Then we might get double captured. Fuck, wait. Alternate firing between A Anton and B Belta. Calculating adjustments. 
Ah, yeah. Switch modes over to salvos after the initial shots. Let's slow them down. Get ready to give them a spank and they won't forget. Young master, please wait. It may just be a requisition ship, not a warship. Let me handle this. Whether it's a warship or not, it's carrying a new gear. Gunner, let him have it. Looks like you just blew yourself up, dude. I totally wear an eye patch if I legit didn't have, have my vision taken away. True. They substituted the word cruiser for submarine, but it is a substandard choice. That's unfortunately very true. Thank you, Fractal. Judging by the angle, it seems if a, as if a gun blast has made a hole in the hull. We will probably sink within minutes. A few minutes. Doc! It is locked. Somebody free us! Ah! <laughs> Wait. Let's get out of here, Doc. Please, I'm begging you, don't give me a timer. We're sliding around? There's a switch. Where? Ooh, treasure. I'm gonna die. Survival tent? Oh, cool. Oh, we're like actively sinking. Okay. Fuck, what are you talking about, dude? Oh no, too late. Am I dead? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I'm gonna get us killed! I don't know what switch he was talking about. Oh my god, we're actually gonna die. Oh, a letter. There we go. Oh, it's still bad. Okay. Hello? Any treasure down here? How do I do that? <gasps> We're getting attacked and shit's on fire. Who are you? Oh, can't you worry about getting out of here? Hey, I hope you're happy. Now you're dead. Get out of my way. I, I think that was the, the ship itself. It was. Throwing those at me. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yeah, the doctor is incredibly strong. Oh, good. It's a ladder. Stuff. No, my stuff! Game, please, I'm begging you. Let me have the stuff. This place is about to go away, and I don't want to miss everything on Earth. <laughs> he turned around and looked at his friend and then was like, The ship is hurting us, like a lot. So shoot my doctor, please. Corporal. 
six. It's not a lot of damage, dude. Let's get this shit and get out of here. Who will win? Six dudes with guns or two kicky boys? Oh, a leather hat. Uh, I have the answer. It's the kicky boys. Leather vest. Fuck you. We're gonna die. We're gonna die because I'm a greedy idiot. And I... I should just be running the right way. Nope, didn't work. Okay. when people do like a, a finger pointy. Thank you, Hakusho. Thank you. I don't want to look at my... I don't know if the time keeps ticking while I'm in here, but... I have to meet your stupid jerky. Sweaty. Everything's breaking. I can't see. We're gonna have to do this. Climb, climb, climb. Close. Jesus! Oh, save point. This feels like a trick. If I save here, I might get... Mm, whatever. Need an extra save, right? Yeah. It's me again. Guess who has extra moves? It's him, but I fucked it up. He had one hit left. Shit. Stupid ship. Stupid guns. Got to get out of here. Ooh. 
Okay, so that's bad. Oh, do I have to... Don't make me platform anymore. God, could you imagine if we didn't turn the brightness on this? We literally wouldn't be able to see anything. You kind of hate that the prosaic looks like a 19-year-old Steven Seagal. What is she? Shoot me. Just don't shoot my teacher. I guess he's not really my teacher. He's more like a dog. I feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Alright, at least we're in better shape now. And that guy just hit me with a bullet and it did nothing. Incredible. Stuff, but I guess not. It's just all in the way. Oh, yes! Okay, get me off of here, please! Doc, where'd you go, Doc? What? He was right there. Faith, can you hear me? I'm moving the crane toward Welltall's cockpit. Hurry, go up the crane to Welltall. We are going under fast. I got you, Doc. But when you're done, you hurry up there too, okay? Damn it, Faith. I'm doctor, not an other kind of doctor. Thank you, Muldane. Very good joke. plus. Am I gonna fall and die? <gasps> Ooh, wow! Uh, okay, yep. Okay, okay. Great. I love not being able to use... Okay. Okay, I'm here! seem to have a faded relationship. Shut up, Faye! Get in it! <laughs> Just shut up, we're gonna drown! Please escape. Oh, I guess I could just pick him up. Come on, Doc! Over here, hurry up! so many times on this. <gasps> oh no! Now that it's over, I, I drowned so in the sand your first playthrough. It's pure luck, my friends. I should have died. Uh, Frosting? Well, we did it. Ugh. I mean, huh. Whoops. Are you okay, Doc? Ha <laughs> ha! Well, Dr. Saitan Hazuki, feels like you have sacked your saccules and tickled your utricles enough for one lifetime. Whew, dizzy. Sorry about that, Doc. I didn't have time to open up the cockpit. Are you really okay? Faye, I was only joking. Riding in the hand was not so bad. I can see what is so good about this top secret experimental kiss love machine. Yeah, when I started it up, it began doing all kinds of stuff by itself. The environmental response system and weight reduction hovering kicked in straight away, automatically. 
Really? Amazing! Save yourselves, but leave your friends to sink in a sand of sea. A, a sand of sea? A sea of sand? Don't you believe in comradeship? Who? Huh? They weren't my friends. We were captives. It's not my fault. Yes, a sand of sea as we... Wait a second. Oh shit, they have some too! Not very manly of you two to leave your platoon to die while you run away in a year, you know. Oh. Oh, I don't want to fight you. Well, wait one moment. Well, we're not Ave soldiers. Huh. Can't you make a better plea for your life? You come jumping out of an Ave ship and claim that you are not Ave soldiers? Stop trying to fool me. I tell you, it's true. <laughs> how pathetic are you? Even if you're the pettiest of soldiers, how's about showing a little spine? And put up a decent fight! Stop it, I'm telling you, I'm no soldier. I, I don't want to fight. How nauseating. Why don't you stop grumbling? Leave the gear and run away. Don't touch me! Do you have whips? Dude. For someone who doesn't want to fight, you're quite powerful. I see. An all-out environment model. So that's it, huh? Now I want it even more. <laughs> Wild smile. My accuracy and evasion. Fuck you. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Let's try God and chat, see what that does. Ooh! That was pretty good. I don't know, that seemed pretty good. Camera damaged? Seventeen? Yeah, using the big thing is better. Ow. Fuck you. Be my friend. I can't see a reason not to use that. I guess if we get the charge up, though, we could do more than that, technically. F Holy shit! Okay, dude. So you can play that game, possibly. Yes! Okay, I, that's fine. which is concerning to me, but I think we're fine. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I guess it's strong, but it's not quite as strong. Mm. I'm fucking... I don't know why I ever use that move. Oh my god, he's getting faster than me. I'm trying to kill him. I mean, no, I don't want to kill him. Also, I just realized we're like already in overtime. We had overtime yesterday too. Oh, oh no, he got back up. Or did he? Huh? Wait. Oh no, this is not good. Is that another sandworm? Is it? In the heat of battle, I go and get caught in quicksand. Darn, me of all people. What? Is it actually... Damn, this is all your fault! 
Boy, are you gonna get it later. So be darn ready. Why? Why? Hey, come down here now. I'm not gonna kill you. All I want is for you to leave this gear. Huh? Hey, you're... You're not an Ave soldier. I told you that in my intercom transmission earlier. You're the one who refused to listen to me, right? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I remember you were saying something like that. I went off half-cocked and thought you were the enemy. Fuck you! <clears throat> uh, my name's Bart. Bart. All right, Bart Simpson. I'm the pirate that works this territory. Well, my name is Faye, and I was arrested for no apparent reason, shoved into that Ave transport ship, and was nearly going to be sent to a concentration camp until you went in and blew the thing to blazes. Anyway, I'm just glad to have been able to survive. Oh, huh, I see. Well, I'm glad I at least helped you out a little. But I didn't expect a civilian like you would be riding in a military gear. Besides, this gear is a brand new model. I've never even seen this type before. Let's just say that a lot of things have happened. It wasn't like I wanted to pilot it. Where are we anyway? It looks like we fell into some weird place. I've never heard of huge stalactite caves such as this existing under the desert before. What? You don't know anything, do you? Where are you from? The desert only covers around a thousand... Charles? Charles of the outer layer of the earth. The stratum underneath that consists of igneous rock. From a sea of trees to a sea of sand, and now a stalactite cave. What's next? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Approximately 1.1 Charles to the Yom. Thank you, Mildane. That scared the shit out of me. I thought that was coming from the game. We're in trouble. Look, the hole we fell through has disappeared. We better find some other way out. So you want to call it a truce for now? At least until we find an exit and get out of here. <sighs> yes, agreed. First, we gotta find the way out of here. So let's get going. Okay. Oh. Oh, thank God. I didn't want to dry up and die up in the desert. Hey, you. I know you're tired, but don't go any further than there. Shut up. You sunk our ship. Don't you forget that. No, you shut up. Just be thankful that you were saved. Uh, excuse me. Is there anyone who is almost dead with no arms or legs or in... Whoa. Is there anyone who's almost dead with no arms and legs? Or in need of an abdominal operation? No one? Well, that's depressing. What the fuck? What was that? I see. So your young one has not just been shooting at anything and everything then, Sigurd? Yes, he actually calculated this attack, or so he says. As you can see, no one has died this time either. Sigurd, sir? Is it Sigurd? Or Sigurd? How do I pronounce this name? I've never um, heard it out loud before. Also, we are now 20 minutes over time. I'm going to stop the moment we... Oh. Sigurd. Sigurd. Ah, thank you, Dubs. I appreciate it. It's pronounced Bort? Oh, excuse me. It's Bort. Hey, just, just did he in? That's how you say it too, Sigurd? Got it. Sigurd, sir, the collection of the goods and soldiers from the Ave transport is almost complete. We still can't locate the young master. General Mitreya's platoon will scout around again. Okay, I'm counting on you. Yes, sir. Since I'm part of the unit, I'll also excuse myself. There they go. A lot of the game's names sound German. Oh. So, what happened to this young one you call Master? 
He fell into an underground cave with that other guy in a gear. It's near an old excavation site, and he's riding in a gear, so he'll probably be able to come up somehow. We'll try to find him for a while, and if that doesn't work, then we'll wait for him at our meeting point. You seem to trust him a lot. Trust him? Yeah, I trust he'll get us into trouble. <laughs> but I never thought I would meet you here, Hugh. Hold on. It is not a coincidence. It is an inevitable consequence, I assume. Hugo, are you saying something's about to happen? What the fuck? I, you have to give me more than that. Is that a plant? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, oh, okay. You know what, nope, it's, it's a mystery for tomorrow. I'm gonna deal with this tomorrow. Desert attack. This is this is tomorrow's me's problem. Holy shit! This game kicks ass. We played it for a single day and I love it. ASMR background noises. <laughs> well, uh. Pink Lawn Thomas, thank you very much for following. Welcome! If any, okay, hold on. So. Whoa. <laughs> Yay, see no gears. Glad you're loving it. Zotharian, thank you so much for resubbing with Prime. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And thank you for the compliment. Huh? No, spoilers for tomorrow! He's helping me! Don't, don't I'm not looking. Uh, 514, thank you for following. I really appreciate it. Okay, so. Uh, this was our first day with this game, and it fucking kicks ass. The anime cutscenes are incredible and not cringy at all. It's like the opposite of the voice lines from Grandia. Um, it's not nearly as terrifying as I thought it was going to be, and I really fucking like it. So I'm very, very excited. So, hello! We're a little bit over time, but if you're new here, fucking cool! Thank you for showing up for this game. Um, feel free to drop a follow if you would like notifications and crap. You're welcome to join our Discord if you'd like. And feel free to vote in the poll for our next game. I'm going to be playing this literally until we beat it. So, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is when I start, we will start uh, anew. And I have a bunch of piano songs from this fucking game because I keep ending up stopping in places that have absolutely zero sounds. Uh, cause this morning there were no sounds cause it was playing some shit over and over, so. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a lovely night. I will be... You want the ASMR? I'm... Look, I'm playing piano sounds. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. I hope you will be too. And if you can't catch streams, I save all the VODs. Hey. Oh! I don't get to hang out here enough anymore. And tonight I got to hang out. And that was cool. Thank you, Lee. Congrats on Miguel, by the way. Uh, anyway, that's it. That's the end of the stream. I'll see you all tomorrow. I hope you have a lovely night and um, enjoy this p piano.